Turn off the mic. <laughs> hey, hey, every pony! Welcome to a very special episode of My Little Pony Thoroughly Analyzing. I'm joined by all my best friends in the whole wide world. We've got Best Guy Ever, also known as Keg Standard. I don't know who the fuck that first guy is. I'm Keg Standard, and welcome to another episode of TBBBAP. Take it, Phantom. That's two best brothers, bitch about ponies. It's me, your blue, your blue bitch here, Phantom Horn, the only, <laughs> the only pony with the courage to defy social norms ever. We've got, and, that, and that's that, all I gotta that, say. Is that, is that give and take over there? Hey. Hello, by, uh, hey guys, welcome to Arm Retrieval Act uh, 7. We're going to be talking about home stuff today. Oh, no. That's a banned topic, you know that. No. Tr- trigger word. Oh hey, my hey. god, Brony Curious is here! I'm back! <laughs> I did AKA it, Tom I'm Tales. alive! I, yay! Hi. No longer a zombie. No. I'm glad to see everyone I've been survived revived. the, uh, the, the whole cutie mark kerfuffle. Yeah, we, we, we all, you, we have all you been, are, in fact, been, alive. Have you been max revived? <laughs> we've we've <laughs> all been max revived. revived. Let's be yeah. real. That's right. <laughs> we've we've got we've got the mage pony. Yeah, Aurora Ignite. Oh, we, that's the full name. Okay. We've got. <laughs> I, I knew that. You can call me Mage. Oh, I'm a failure. <laughs> we've got the oh, munchie with the tiny heads. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. Cause let me tell you, hey PCP fans, he's your most recently acquainted best friend, Strawberry Milk. Yeah. <laughs> Woven expertly into the grand tapestry that is My Little Pony Friendship's Magic Analysis Community. If you're not today, real, real cliff notes on, on my lore. I love sex. I'm not like Munchie. I love sex. I like the ERP. I, 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 I'm a toon fetishist, and I, and I, I hate shame, and I hate self-reflection. I, I just love sex. That's my character. I'm not wearing it. Don't wear it out. We're, we're, we're we, peas in a pod. We've even got a brand new friend joining us for the first time. Uh, our new friend, Tape Stack. Hey, everybody. I predicted that this movie would be great. <laughs> Do you have tape That's, in your mouth? I was going to say. <laughs> no, I just have braces is all. <laughs> oh, oh, excellent. We, you see, we're appealing to all fetishes here. Yeah. Oh, really, really, oh, I'm real into that. I'm, 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 get, yeah. I'm getting ready. I'm getting lube. Oh my god. The gang is all here, buddy. <laughs> now, unfortunately, our, our seafaring buddy, Starboard Bow, was busy off pirating today, so he couldn't join us, but we, we, we will pour one out in his name. Yeah. Gotta get the booty. <laughs> exactly. Guys, guys, have you it's, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Who, have you seen it? the, the, the long-awaited the, fucking the pony cin- movie? The cinematic events, the cinematic events. Of of the of all time of the all decade. of equestrian of all history, years. guys. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I walked outside one one graceful night, and I and I looked up into the stars, and there was the solar eclipse beaming down directly into my eyes. And from that mm-hmm. day onward, all I could see just directly into my red nose was the My Little Pony movie on repeat at <laughs> infinitum. Awesome. And that's exactly why you should stare at the eclipse. You, you, you know, because you get quality cinema right in your brain. <laughs> you know, I've never really, I've never really had a religious experience in a religious place. Mm-hmm. But while sitting on my couch watching the My Little Pony movie, I briefly saw God. <laughs> Digi Brony, it, so it is just right? wonderful to hear you say I, that. I briefly yeah, saw God Celestia too. All three of them before they were turned to stone. Five. You mean yeah. all yes. four? Yeah. You mean all wrong. four? Dude, Twilight. that's get, blasphemy. Get, get your fa- I, can see, I can see you're rusty out here, Brony Curious, but let's try and get up to speed, all right? Let's, let's try. <laughs> we're not running a shit show here. This isn't like some bum fuck in your pockets like the PCP. This is uh, this, the, 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 it's better. Why don't you friends that? Get over it, you anti-hasbrite. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is the, 
this is the PPCP, the Pony Procrastinating yeah. Podcast. Mm-hmm. It's an alternate reality. It's the darkest timeline. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the PPC. brightest from where I'm standing. <laughs> So, okay, so so let's just immediately dive into all the earth-shattering ways this movie ruined the wait, continuity wait, of My Little hey, Pony well, Friendship's hey, Magic. Should we go through it in yeah, order yes. chronologically like the best internet show than a Stalder Critic? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, hold on. Before yes. we, we, let, let's, go, let's go to our... I think, I think it's important because this movie is so fucking earth-shattering and it, it just plumped us up. It just plumped us up real good. It, it just saddled <laughs> us up and plumped us down real hard. All right, uh-huh. all right uh, everybody. But, as, as the creator of the My Little Pony analysis community, <laughs> right, Digi Pony, right. <laughs> I feel I could lead this discussion. Wait, wait should, wait, should we talk about our history? Movie. Should we talk about our history first, or is that well, I, fucking whatever? Just go. Just I don't know. Well, come out. Well, I'm going to talk about our history and the movie all at once okay, here good, because right, good, I right, want to know who else watching this movie. Uh, uh, first of all, actually, more so than our history, I want to know when was the last time each of you watched My Little Pony? Oh. Seventeen. Mm. Because oh. I know Hip, Hippo follows the show still. I yeah. literally haven't watched a full episode since I stopped analyzing the show in 2014. I watched, I watched like one episode from season five. Wait, that's that not true. It. I watched a bunch from season five. For, but wait, Ben, didn't you watch all of season five and T-Bap it? Yeah, yeah. we podcasted yeah. it. Wait. You did maybe the whole I'm thinking, season five. Maybe I'm, may, okay, maybe I'm thinking of season six then. It's season season yeah. seven is out now, right? And season six correct. is the one yeah. that, that, yeah, is, okay. That is right. correct. Okay, then I, I stopped watching after the podcast ended, but uh, but I watched like one, I think I watched the finale of the next season just Me, to see if I was interested. And I, no, I, I, no, I, I forgot, wasn't. I keep forgetting I did watch half of season five before we went to BronyCon in 2015, just because right. I wanted to know what the fuck was I, going on. I watched before. a couple right, episodes, right. I think, from season six, because I, I foolishly made a list of, like, four episodes I had to review if big things ever happened, and then I did mm, some of mm. them, because I kept happening up pestered on it on Twitter, so I'm like, well, I guess I'll have to talk about them, so I did. Uh, I I stopped watching right around the midway point of season five uh, weekly. However, me and Phantom here actually watched a few episodes of season six together, and uh, we shit on Wait, them, basically. Wait, we did? Yeah, we did. Remember when we were going to do a thing, but we never... Remember when we were going to literally do T-Bat, but it never happened? That was oh, thing God! That... that was, like, forever ago. Yeah, 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 okay. That's that's when I watched. That's when I watched season six. What the fuck? I don't remember any of it. Um, I, If I, I recall didn't... correctly, you almost cried at an episode. <laughs> what? Hey, nothing Which wrong one? with that. Which one? You, what you, the fuck? The, the second episode of season six, you, you what, were what? like, that, that's a really deep moral, and I almost cried. <laughs> Wait, wait, what happened? Tell me what happened, because it's okay, starting to go here. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to form in a memory. Uh, Damn it. like, I should listen to my friends. What the fuck? No, that can't okay, be let's, right. Let's get back to this. Uh, I uh, haven't seen anything since season five. I oh, watched yes. season five. Yes, it Done. was the one where the evil where the <laughs> evil got in her and made her be bad, and I related to it. Oh, shit, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> man, I forgot. I forgot this was the best show on the internet. <laughs> Mage, shit, Mage, what? when was the last time you watched a new episode of My Little Pony? Um, I'm actually up to date. Oh, oh well, my god. Up, up there with Hippo. Number one. Well, the, she's, she's, she's a realer pony date. than any of us. I'm Wait, not Hippo, actually how... up to date because um, the, the pony cast, we've been having a bit of like seasick, uh, like cancer, like what do you call it? Scurvy. That's <laughs> the <one>. <laughs> <laughs> seasick cancer. <laughs> we, we, we have some, some sort of scurvy problem, so we haven't been able to, to do any of those episodes for a while. So I'm behind <clears throat> on that. Uh, but I, I, yeah, season seven's good. I, I, I like season seven. Word for the, it. No, here's the thing with season seven. If you haven't watched the pony cast, we 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 discover that season six and season five they're like, eh, well, I don't whatever. Bleh. And then season mm-hmm. seven they start introducing a new main cast sort right. of. Yeah, like that. Like that good that good. I, changeling I have been. Or whatever. I will say that I have been watching the pony cast, and that's the only way. It's been really surreal listening to that podcast because I can envision the episodes in my head. Like, even though it's been so long since I watched the show, I spent so much time with it that I know exactly what it's like. Mm-hmm. And so, like, listening to you guys discuss an episode, it just brings me right back. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, this is exactly what that would have looked like. And here's yep. Yep. here's what they're talking yeah. about. And, and I can perfectly envision it. And that was also what was trippy about this movie was mm-hmm. that for the first, like, 20 minutes, it's just an episode of My Little Pony. Like, if you close your eyes, because the visuals, yes. you can't. Yeah. Like, if, yeah. if you just listen to the way the characters are talking, the things they're saying, the sound effects, the music, it's it's just the show. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and yeah. then it develops a plot, and um, 
becomes what, what, really would have been way better if it looked like an episode of My Little Pony because this shit yeah. sucks. God, <laughs> yeah, it's God just, damn it. Did, did anyone like the visual aesthetic? No. I yeah, man. I, 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 I thought it was good. Oh, Once really? I got used so to it, I, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. I never, Whoa. I never it, stopped. It, I mean, it wasn't always terrible, but there were there were plenty of moments that were ruined by the hold way. Hold on, let me get their weird big heads and creepy yeah, eyes. Though, love, love yeah. fun. that is hard. Yeah, to, but My they Little Pony never had eyes. big heads and creepy eyes ever. But, uh, it, it's to the extreme Dude, now. It's the, different. It's weird. Like the, if you want to cut too much detail, my ass. I told, I totally disagree. I think, I think. I think the extra frames of animation are great. I thought the way that there, yeah, was, there was more more rendering detail and everything My was great. My Little Pony's animation was never good. They all looked like fucking flash puppets and moved like them the entire show. They were stilted and awkward, right. and they were right. never good. And, and everyone, it was great. everyone's and saying, I loved it. yeah, and Dude, everyone's I, saying they were looked good, were wrong. But this looks even worse. No, I thought Dude, I thought no, no, the no, environments were particularly really well done. Here's like the background right. fucking fucking Steven Universe. Dude, God, I have the perfect analogy. It's about macaroni and cheese. You know, macaroni and cheese. It's made for kids, <laughs> oh, right? God. Made for fucking kids right but then when you're like a late teen you're like man i still love the fucking taste of this i could appreciate this fully but then once you get into your <laughs> 20s it's getting more like well i still like the taste of it but i do like other tastes more and also i feel like cancer after it after eating it like 20 minutes later i don't know I why i can't relate to this analogy because i still eat macaroni well like i'm talking specifically about craft specifically that box well, right okay. for all of us yeah, yeah, yeah. who aren't actively killing our bodies and every <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so fucking yeah so that's the thing with macaroni and cheese right so the same thing as the mlp aesthetic when i was you know when it first came out i was like oh my gosh it's so much good animation it's like got colors and fluidity and uh, timing but then when i look mm -hmm. at it now i'm like okay i can see all the ones and zeros in these fucking vectors you know so mm -hmm. basically this movie is like someone handing me a bowl of craft macaroni and cheese with bacon inside. It's like, well, that's going to be tangy AF. It's going to make me feel really gross. <laughs> you know, you know, really, know, uh, uh, it's going to be fucking, it's going to be weird, but it's going to taste like really intense and just very childish in that way. So, yeah, it's like <laughs> people, people, people just, always think People always think that good animation is always going to be better no matter what. I actually fundamentally disagree with that because you mm -hmm. can't just ramp up the quality of something. Like, the, the fight scenes in this, particularly the one where Tempest beats the shit out of, like, a random mook in, like, that city. I thought that looked absolutely beautiful, and I was like, now it's that's something that, like, just enhances the quality yeah, I mean, of this want, thing like, in general. Yeah, I mean, if you want, like, perfectly balanced, that specifically, that specifically sucked. No, that specifically was good. It was like the the best part. But the it had the, no the, way. the you it was can't lame. to 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 over animate to like the just the, the scenes of people talking and like looking at each other dramatically actually makes it more boring and worse because yeah. things take longer to do it, it was and it drags things shit. out. I, like, I, yeah, I completely you know disagree. I think you guys kill yeah. kills yeah. inventive animation. Yeah, no, no, totally. no, no. You guys are I, too. You're too I, attached to the the style you've known forever. No, I hate the bullshit. style I've known forever. I gotta say, yeah, uh, one of the hardest things about trying to go back and watch My Little Pony for me is that the animation is dog shit in the show, and, like, every... I don't know this how This is the guy we, who watches anime. <laughs> well, we, I think we all somehow... Like, when you get into MLP, then it's like... Like, in the fan community, every unique facial expression that gets introduced is a big deal. Because yeah, the right. show, by and large, right. is just the same stock right. shit over and over again. Yeah. So as soon as you see, like, one face that's new, everyone you know, freaks out. But yeah, when you go back sucks. and watch the show, like, like when you're not in the hype cycle and you just look at it, you're like, oh, yeah, it looks like shit. Yeah, dude, dude. Y'all coming this into movie, this movie to me felt like like uh like lipstick on a pig like uh, it, I, I, dude, I totally okay, disagree. Look, like I enjoyed the aesthetic because I went into it with the right mindset. Now you see the reason why I stopped watching MLP uh, right around season five since I never got to answer that question since everyone seems to always fucking ignore me when we go roundabout. I'll get over it later. Anyway, I have a I have a fucking <laughs> pillow to yell at, so I'm fine. Anyway, so. <laughs> I, after getting out of MLP, I discovered this thing called, I don't know if you've heard of it, anime, right? Now, mm. that's where, like, you have stuff that, like, there's this one show called Kill La Kills Inventive Animation, and that's a really good <laughs> I aesthetic, love that right? show! <laughs> right? And, then, and, then, and then there's, like, this other show called, like, The Incredible Pacing and Visual Imagery of Sangatsu no Lion by Super Eye Patch Wolf, the San. That's a good anime I like as well, <laughs> with incredibly well-timed imagery. I've had so much incredible aesthetic. It's like, how much more exciting can a show be than Kill La Kills Inventive Animation? How much more fucking well-directed can 
can a show be other than Sengatsu no Lion by Super Eye Patch Wolf? Like, there, you can't have anything better than that. So it really is like someone saying, hey man, you want to eat some macaroni and cheese with fucking bacon bits, and maybe someone will put some soy sauce on it. You're and really, maybe you're really milking some... this analogy. Yeah, well, mm. I love food analogies. I'm not sure if I buy into it completely. The guy who does love milk, so... What the who uh, the fuck is the boo? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's whatever tape, the fuck. His name is Tape is Stack. Tape Stack. Tape stack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I keep wanting hey. to say Cassette Deck because that was somebody else's <laughs> Pony OC, and it's well. similar enough that it's uh, fucking guys. Up in my head. I hope I, you guys understand what this podcast is gonna be. It's just gonna be like n- like eight people talking all of each other all at once, and then long stretches of just Devu talking only. So just yeah. so yeah. just another episode of the PCP. Well, yeah, yeah. I want to speak right. about the mm-hmm. the, oh. the artwork, uh, the the animation. Because <laughs> do it. You're the one with the most animation knowledge. Go. Oh, it's yes, true. yes, I know all about those You're a regular Bugs Bunny ancient, cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to plump you up real hard and spread my knuckles across your lip in the second you're <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Go on, Kim, go on. What the fuck, Strawberry? <laughs> Sim- simmer down. <laughs> it's okay. He loves sex. I understand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. I came into this scene because I saw the trailer, and it looked weird. The nose is on, like, Pinky was like, ah, she's fallen, and her nose looked like a weird pig nose. and didn't look right. 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 Worst um, shot in the movie. And, yeah, it is. Like, that. the thing is, the trailer shows all the worst bits because it, yeah. it just, I, I, yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. anyway, I liked, I, I thought I would hate it because it was kind of weird, but I also noticed it's it's like they're doing a Disney thing with the pony thing, and I can't, and I just sort of got used to it, and then I started to like it. I started to like the extra frames. I really liked all the, yeah. the moments where Tempest was looking down at yes. the camera, uh, and she's so She was the best animated moving. character in the whole movie. She's yeah, so, she's so she's silky. Silky. She, she was good. She was good. In the, in the new art style, yeah, Tempest was the best. Because there's, there's, she was designed for it. I agree. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. And, exactly. It's like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'll tell what you. mage? Wait, everyone shut the fuck up. Mage is trying to talk. <laughs> Sorry. And everything on the water say... is great. I just... Yeah. I wanted to say that, like, yeah, anima- the new animation really suited Tempest the most, I think. Um, all, all the rest were, like, like kind of like Gib, like I, uh, I said, I got used to it eventually, but they all were very sort of, like, yeah. still squishy and sort of soft looking. The but ponies have always been that way, but yeah, definitely to a larger I, degree. And you I know wanna, how much I love soft-looking things. I think the problem is that like the, the MLP animation has always had a really difficult time dealing with extreme foreshortened poses. Like even in the regular yeah, show, yeah, it's it's always like the thing. One of my little pet peeves of the animation style, which persists in this animation swap, is that whenever you look at like a regular design pony from straight on, the muzzle is never like done correctly in perspective. It just looks like someone slapped a shape on top of like a flat face. And that's yeah. why when you get that perspective shot with Pinky, it looks all fucked up because I don't know how to draw that from not a three fourths or profile view, and it it, mm-hmm. it works even less well in this more the detailed point of the style. The aesthetic is to add cinematic to the MLP that's exactly viewing, right. and uh, exactly right. that is yeah, you know, it's often derided by being overused, but in this context, it's hey, TV well, show that that looks really good by its own standards. That's been going on for seven seasons. Here, here's a cinematic version because it's an exciting I, way to deliver a, a, a little tight. Yeah, story. Just, it's 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 definitely hype to see it that way. The problem is that I don't think the character designs translate well to it. Like, mm-hmm. a lot of the... When you see the characters in three-fourths faces, like, when you see that other eye on the other side of their face, yeah. that just looks fucked up to me. Some like, of the characters like work better than others. Alien... Fu- like, like, the, like Twilight talking to the princesses in the beginning, and, like, I was just looking at her eyes, like, why why are they wrong? And they also added, like, detail to the eyes, like, anime yeah, style, which I thought was... Like, like, sparkles dim. are bullshit. The, 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 the oh, way that they, made the, the cool way that they made the shines translucent That was, was like, the biggest, cool. biggest problem for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, I didn't like the detail in the irises, like how the irises are all here. speckled and stuff. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. Okay, you know, I was never part of this whole analysis community. Was this what it was like? Mm-hmm. Was it's it just weird this? that none of the other <laughs> characters have that? It's, it's, it's just them. How did you last it? Just the main ponies have that. <laughs> I, 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 I think uh, my impression of the animation and of the like everything in the movie was a constant series of, oh, that was all right. Oh, that sucked. Oh, that yeah. was all right. Like, like you'd see a, there's sometimes there would be a piece of animation that's like, yeah, okay, that worked. Or, or a joke. Yeah. Like, uh, I think 
Twilight showing um, Celestia and Luna, like, the angles she wants them to put the sun no. at the, and the moon at the beginning. I was like, yeah, okay. No. That's a good Twilight joke. That's something <laughs> I, she'd, yeah. she'd do and say. Okay, the, the jokes, the jokes yeah. in this movie fell so fucking flat. Hell yeah. 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 Did I see something yeah. about that yeah. joke? Dude. Mage, yeah, mage, 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 mage. Everyone shut up. <laughs> okay, just like, I don't understand why the princesses didn't want to go with that plan because, yeah. like... Why? Like, it's not much effort yeah. to do that, because, like, it, when later the guy gets the staff, he just plays around with the sun and the moon well, like it's the, nothing. The guy, he, the he's, guy he's, he's a nuts guy, on their she's junior like, every once in like, a while. He's like, I have a great idea for, for something you can do, and they're like, that is a great idea, and we totally could do it, but we won't. Good luck. Look, they have to, <laughs> the, the princesses have to stay in character and be useless. Like, they, if they actually <laughs> did true. something that productive, I would have been Aloof totally unsold. And on high and mighty <laughs> and better than you. I have something to say! When, okay. when, when, when uh, they're like, Twilight's like, hey, I need this utility so the concert will be cool. They're like, we believe in you. Like, you're, you're, I, don't worry, you're a princess had, too. Yeah, they're, they're like, they're like what does that like, mean? I'm, sure, I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. And she's like, no, this is what I want to do. You put me in charge and this is what I, I fucking want. I don't think yeah. they are supposed to be able to do that. Like, I think the idea is that they're saying, like, we can't just fuck up the day-night cycle of the world for one party. Like, you're, Yeah, like, there's other consequences of doing that. I think they just don't understand know. math and they were saving face. But the Storm King does that later. The Storm King fucks it up later and no, it's fine. Like, everyone's fine. We don't know guys, guys. See what guys, happens to the world yeah. after he does guys, that. Mm-hmm. Guys, though, I remember like uh, Twilight said that it was about the time when like the sun is supposed to be setting and the moon was probably going to be rising at the around the same time. So all they had to do was just hold it for a little bit in the yeah. same place. Nothing was going to get fucked up. That will fuck up people's, you know, like who are looking at the sun and they're like, "What? The no, f- why is the sun? Oh, no, oh, 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 some, some poor deal. sailor, okay, wait, some wait, poor real, sailor real on the sea yeah, is gonna is gonna yeah. lose his way real, because real for like quick, a minute. Exactly. The, um, they they, they, the they know moon, they know that the sun and moon aren't reliable. Ben, out there ben. right now, you <laughs> have to to find his way on the sea. God damn it, we have to think of him. Ben Saint. What? Um, that's not, no, that's not my name. Phantom Horn. Phantom Horn. God damn it, Phantom Horn. Yeah. That the sun and moon. uh they're, they're not just over Equestria, right? It's like the whole world's sun I was, and moon. I was thinking so about like, this in yeah. this very day. Like, like when, when Celestia and Luna fuck with the sun and the moon, is that just an Equestria thing? Because, like, no. only the ponies do it that with the environment? It surely affects the whole world. It's, well, it's, it's, like, how, it's like how so, America is the world police, you know? These yeah. guys know, are, man. like, the, the, the world's sun I'm and just moon. Wondering, like, are, like are, when the Celestia sun and the moon and get Luna... fucked up, are, like, the fucking cat people and, like, parrot people and, like, the, the hydro well, ponies and whatever, are they all like, oh, I guess the ponies are having a fucking war again. Guys, guys, Equestria is like the America to, to, to that world where like all the mm-hmm. third world countries get fucked and every time we do something no, bad. Like, That's just how it works. Like, yeah. Before everybody yeah. cuts me off, the point I was trying to make simply is that if they hold the sun and moon in place, it will fuck up for everybody in the world. And this is Rat just hairs. for a party that's no. just no. in no, Equestria. No, no, yeah, I know, it's sick. They, they want to get like turned, bro. It's important. The sun, and moon. the sun and moon could be contextual. You know, it's like in Dark Souls. Now, oh since it's 2013 again, you might not all know about this game called Dark Souls where the sun is different in certain places. So oh just saying, God. hang on. It's an established. I've got, I've got, if, if it's I've got the solution. Dark Souls is exactly what we're talking about. Oh. I, think we're I, I, I know what this guys. I think well, that is so, not important. We have the whole side of the movie theory. to talk about. In the flat about. Earth theory, this totally makes sense because the the, 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 the they go in circles. They move in circles around this. Yeah, that totally works. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking crazy. Get off the fucking. Get off the dark part of YouTube. All the new Pokemon they added were hard to get, and I couldn't find them anywhere. They just had such low percent rates. I just couldn't. <laughs> find any of them. <laughs> Guys, you're missing Russia forth, manipulated you're missing, them. And, you're, you're missing okay, the forest yeah. through the trees. The point is, is the animation, they all like look chubby and scary, like vaguely like meaty. Like they have flesh. They're, it's upsetting. I hate their dumb plump up cheeks. Okay, I just want to plump them up real high. I, I just want to <laughs> lift up their stomachs real quick, real fast, real I know real exactly good, what you're saying. Feel those you, you're, you're, you're entirely feel correct. And, and okay, that, that stems from a larger, I would call it a problem. And it's exactly what Davu is saying. It's this what? idea Who the fuck is this person you keep referring to? I'm sorry, I tape stack, I, I tape stack, my, my, my old companion and his yes. beloved braces. Uh, He's a new companion, uh, you our fucking long lost retard. Son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Uh, so I'm looking right now at a screenshot of the of like the princesses at the beginning, and they look normal and good. And then I go like one frame over to Twilight, and then she looks all fucked up and weird. And like that that's that's the problem with this movie. It's it's everything that is involved with turning a cartoon into a movie. I always hate, I, and it's I never been say. done right. It's like I said, I the style sort of fits uh, like Tempest, and she has sort of the same facial features it's, as it, the yeah, princesses. It's, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. the it's that nose shape. You can't have the little bubbly nose because that yeah. doesn't and work. It's, it's not just it's not just the character designs either. This this spills over into the narrative where a they have to baby us by like teaching us what like all oh the characters God. do every time. Dude, uh, uh, yeah. Dude, the fucking I, the beginning of the movie was just like, hey, Rarity, you like fashion, right? Sure do, bud. I mean, of, sure of course, do. Of course. I, didn't, uh, yeah, I knew it was gonna do that shit. That yeah. seemed acceptable. I, have one more note. I like how they yeah. established that Spike is. likes Rarity, even though that's completely yeah, irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, oh, I got it. It's not even relevant to the movie. Oh, yeah, like, like well, okay. it was just like, hey, Rarity, The thing blush. is, this, I don't think it was about babying us. This movie just contains every piece of information about My Little Pony in it. Like, it's every... so people who haven't seen it before can just watch the movie. Of well, course, right. that's yeah. what Not even going that. For. Not even that. I don't think that's what they were going for. I think it's for <clears> fan <throat> service. I think it's so yeah. that oh, I totally everything disagree. they could possibly make... Dude, every background pony is in just the opening scene. Yeah, true. Every true. single mm -hmm. named one... Everybody makes an appearance. Every callback she imaginable sandwich. is made. Okay, well, there's a, a movie. All the, I was all actually the distracted. In the yeah, movie. I was distracted by that because, like, I'm just thinking, yeah. like, oh what my a, god, the to memes people were who, so fucking to people who don't know, like, <laughs> like, there's yeah, like the yeah. end of the movie. Everyone's having a good time, and then Bulk Biceps just shows up, and like, no one who watches the show will be like, "What the fuck is that?" No like, play. Why is that snowflake? Right. He was why does he have? Why does he have a tumor? Times. Yeah, but that's my point. Like, nobody. It doesn't make sense that he would be there. Any, any. I mean. I mean, like Snowflake didn't make sense to begin with. He was, was, a, he was just I a was random really psychic. I was distracted by, by Rainbow Dash saying three seconds flat, Fluttershy mm -hmm. saying Dude, yay. Flutter, dude. Oh my the god, when Fluttershy said it the first time, when she said it the first time, I rolled my eyes. When she said it the second time, I literally was, hung myself. All right, the worst thing about this movie, uh, no, 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 the worst thing, but one mm -hmm. of the things I didn't like was the fact that, you know, most of the main six, they got something to do. They either had a song or they were some, somehow mm -hmm. helpful. Fluttershy said yay twice and did absolutely nothing. I think G Gib, Fluttershy, Gib, it's, it's even worse just than like that. the that regular show. In she in was in movie. character. I, yeah, yeah, I made an, yeah, I made an so itemized oh, list. Oh I God, analyzed. We're going, we're going right back. It's yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Cheesy Gordita Crunch is doing her <laughs> shit. Okay, well, there it is. Okay, oh, listen, listen. God. I analyzed this film with a fine tooth <laughs> microscope and I determined scientifically that there were, uh, of the main crew, uh. there were a full three characters who did literally of nothing course, in the entire Jay. movie. Well, and it was, I'm gonna Apple it was Jack. Bloodshy, Go Rarity, and Applejack. Yep. What about yep. Rainbow Dash? What did she do? Uh, she okay, helped the pirate. She had I, 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 got the pirate I want to talk about Rainbow Dash! Yeah, yeah, she she stuff listen. everything. That's what Rainbow yes, that's Dash right. did. That's, she she just, is in fact like a, a ne show? negative. So, okay, okay, I, guys, okay, okay. I want her, This falls into the meme category. What I want to know, I call up the police, call up the mayor, call up the president. What was with like the weird insertion of the Sonic Rainbow? The Sonic Rainbow was never like a meme. It was service. It was never weird. Like, yeah, it was Rainbow total. Just it was total just fan wanted service. to do it. it she was. just it was, wanted to do it. It was really it. weird that she was like so adamant about it throughout the movie. Yeah, that, like she it was keeps dumb. bringing yeah. it up, and I was like, "Why? She's not like okay, that." Okay, okay, wait. You know? I've got it. In canon explanation, Rainbow is meeting a bunch of new no, friends. No, She's in a new place. Theories. She wants them to see. The she this wants them to see her cool things she can do with the races. Exactly. Why she wanted to? That was no. Speaking season one, it was so long ago. Why? Like, and like, gay was in season one too. Speaking of Rainbow, like, like beginning of the show memes. What's what's the deal, bro? Because what's this is up? an entry level basic bitch shit. That's, okay. Exactly. The, the, the Speaking of basic bitch shit, do okay, we, right. did, did Rainbow realizing... really need another song about about awesome? I'm getting sick. Oh my god! Oh my, okay. that, 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 <laughs> that that song is, is literally that song's my least favorite part, and I'll tell you why. We're because so... when the pirates when when the pirates oh. were being like, wait a minute, let's cast off the yoke of the man and rediscover yeah. our, our true yeah. self. <laughs> I want I, I I like the design of the pirates, and I really wanted to get excited for that part. Like I could feel myself almost enjoying myself with when the but then the song came on and the song this is time it's time to be awesome and i hated it yeah, i hated yeah, the song yeah. so much no, that it ruined, it ruined the about moment. that scene i was really hoping awesome that they'd have this big epic. song 
No, because like the whole mm-hmm. reason they sing, she's like trying to get them to sing the songs, they don't want to get kicked off the ship. And I was really hoping they'd have this big moment <laughs> right. of them like being, yeah, we're pirates. And then they fucking made them walk the plank anyway because they're pirates. Yeah, that's the what I was thinking they too. We've all yeah. been yeah. doing well, like, the opinions of this movie is just backwards. You just, here's what you do with a movie like this you, uh, you cooperate with it and things. reduce a point in exchange for your cooperation. So it's like, as soon as the movie begins, no. you, I promise I won't have any food Stop. analogies. What the the fuck? movie begins to a fucking parody of an 80s song with a pony's lyrics inside. Which Wait, I'm like, are you, are you doing a mistake? Mr. Mr. Enter right yeah. here. Is that what's going on? Is that on? what I'm doing? Or is I have this, no idea. Are you being legitimate? I'm just being oh, myself. Okay. So I thought the... you were memeing for a second. Well, I don't know. You tell me. That's because Mr. Th- Mysterious Mr. Enter's thing is that he would start each episode with five points, and he would reduce yes. or add them based on whether mm. or not like something good or bad. See, I never that is how I start videos. my videos. They're great. But, like, I really yeah, so like, like doing you know, that like, way. Immediately, I'm like, I, I went into it hope, like, assuming it was going to be bad, and then like pretty early on, I'm like, okay, this will be like a... Wait, I wanted to talk more about the pirates. I want to say I two wanna, things, but, too. I oh want to really... This like, is the, we have to get organized episode. here. We got to get organized here. Okay, everyone, Dubu, finish everyone your point. Everyone was like, everyone has to be in this episode. Yeah. It's got to no, be the th- whole This is good. Crew. This is what the people yeah, want. This is, this is good. This is, this is good. This is what I want. If we just analyze the fact for a second that this podcast will mean literally nothing to, like, 80% of our audience. I don't yeah. give a shit. I want that. I want them to... Okay, see, here's the If they don't know Keg, if they don't know Digi, if they don't know Phantom, and they don't know Gibb, and they don't know anything! The, the real point, the entire conceit of the PCP, I never told any of this. The whole point of it was to get people into My Little Pony. 80 <laughs> episodes of this shit. This is what it's all been for. There's over to, 100 episodes To lower episodes your defenses. Po- oh, you meant 80 episodes. I'm talking about of the PCP. This is like 80 episodes now or something. You fucking idiot. I tricked you. I fucking tricked you. You're a brony now. Look down at yourself. That's the body of a brony. You fool. You fucking fool. <laughs> and what a body it while, is. While we're off topic, I want to um, posit a backstory for... Uh, uh, for tape stack, if that's okay, okay. I, I, here's a yeah. suggestion to be what, right, what I think be it up. the backstory of tape stack <laughs> is that tape stack is a is a huge MLP analysis fan who has all of our stuff on tape. He had oh. everybody's he had everybody's analysis on video, so and he had like this he, huge collection. He, he put and his then, VHS tape into YouTube and recorded it. Yeah, <laughs> and, then, and then there was like a BronyCon going on, and he met all of us and was hanging out with the with the group, and he showed us his tape collection. We were really impressed, <laughs> and we wanted to be friends, and that's how we met Tape Stack. So BronyCon is now canon to the My Little Pony universe. No, oh, is, not, isn't it already? I think so. I think I think in the PC Brony it's not right at all. I Hold think on, maybe was. there was. Wasn't there actually? a brony convention in the show where Patton Oswalt was there or something like yeah that okay, did happen know. that did yeah. happen and they just what? made fun of the entire canon. fandom yeah. Uh, yeah oh that is a real okay. thing I want to complain about that. the pirates some more because they made me please, really mad please do I, 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 I do want to make two points as well Maybe after. you can go first you can go first and then I'll go okay okay first point okay so like they're pirates right everyone knows what a pirate is and what a pirate does mm-hmm. why would they think it's awesome and want them to continue to be pirates that's stupid well <laughs> I have an answer to that fantasy. it's because they're not actually pirates what, the, what mm-hmm. when they describe mm-hmm. their job as pirates they say they're SWAT they're yeah. treasure hunters yeah. they, Look, they the do in, not actually entire, engage in piracy the entire pirates the entire pirate conceit is fucking retarded because we get to the scene and it's like oh we're we're being oppressed by the storm king and yes. she's like yeah oh be pirates again and it's like wouldn't the storm king just do to them again whatever he yeah. did to subjugate oh them in the first god place. you're so no no my, my first problem i would like i was Dubu, like how is that not immediately what you thought when this scene yeah, came that's what on? i thought because well, well, that was well, here's, all here's i could think was this makes no fucking sense well here's, like, yeah, here's what i thought the like, least sense making thing i've ever seen i was fine I was fine with Rainbow Dash convincing. was dead for me. By yeah, the way. I was fine with with Rainbow Dash convincing them to be pirates again. But then when Tempest showed up, I was like, "Oh, okay, she's gonna see that they've gone back to the pirate, and they're gonna get in trouble with the Storm King." No, yeah, that was Tempest stupid. sees yeah, Tempest sees that, that they've fucking thrown off their, the their duties and they've gone back, to that, and she doesn't though, even care. The, she doesn't do anything. The whole scene yeah, leading up to that was like the most I, I cleverly wanna... written scene in the movie, where it's like, you know, it's like suddenly lunch. It's oh yeah, okay. It's a funny subversion. It's a funny subversion of your expectations. Like, oh okay, and then actually, it's a cool way of establishing some world building about how. How uh, the fucking guy has been taking over the whole universe, you know, basic shit. And yeah, you okay. just get to know about their characters, I you wanna... know about their story, you empathize with them, and then someone goes, hey, stand up for yourself, stop being afraid. And they're like, oh, okay, but apparently that makes no sense. People never like have a point where they turn around and realize to stand up for themselves. They, they never they, fucking they, have that. No, that's fine that they did, but there should have been consequences. If subjugated, then it can just happen again. Yeah, if there were no consequences for them for them going back to being pirates, then why did they start being right, shippers they in the first place? 
there was. They literally were just scared, and there was yeah, no yeah, actual yeah, reason for them to stop being remember, pirates. They blew That's up the their fucking ship. They were totally consequent. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 they didn't. That was not because they went back to being pirates. It's because they were harboring prisoners. No, I think she they just didn't realize Tempest they didn't, didn't care that they costumes. weren't doing their job. No, they, they, just, they just didn't realize they didn't swap their costumes. That was, there was a stupid thing. There was a very standing right code. fucking there. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, no, no, that was a <laughs> stupid thing. She should, they should have immediately put their costumes back on or something. I would agree yes. with that. Guys. No, okay, I have to pause. say something. I have Guys. to. I have okay. to. Please right, give him please. Munchy, please. Munchy, say, say it. Say it. Okay, okay, okay. Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash was like, hey, you guys should be pirate, but not because she's a good friend. Rainbow Dash isn't a good friend. This is a fact. Here's the headcan reason why. It's because she knows that she just wants to trick them so she doesn't die. And then it's like, you, she, like she's just like, you guys should be pirates. And they're like, okay, there's no, like, well, see, there's no that's, apprehension that's or anything. Thing. It's just I, like, please be pirates again, please, because I don't want to die. And they're like, yes, I right. will. Thank yeah, you. As, as Ben touched on, I thought that this, the, the point of the scene was going to be that the pirates were stupid. That, like, yeah. they were going to have this whole up, like, they're going to reform everything, and then the ponies, after having, like, reformed the pirates, were just going to skate or get, like, brought to somewhere else, and then the bad guys were going to show up and immediately subjugate the pirates again. They're going to be like, oh, right, of course. How could we forget that we are under the rule of the Storm King and we can't actually just rise up out of nowhere because he's more powerful than us? But, like... No, they just are I mean, and, characters and, and, now. And more than that, like pirates, yeah, like the pirates are not necessarily good people. They really should. The, the, the whole thing of them doing the awesome song was but, completely but out of awesome. self interest. But they're of, awesome. That's, right. that's, that's, why, that's, why, awesome. Script, that's I, why I say this goddamn script was baby fied. There's this idea that like pirates are just like cool guys who just like fuck. Okay. Cool. The show is right. for babies. All right. But. All right, this Dude, is Dude, you this spend is years enough. talking about the show. It is not a baby. Oh, yes. Give me to say something. All right. You Do guys are down. all wrong in every aspect Except you're not for me. thinking. <laughs> Let me explain to you what My Little Pony is. <laughs> it is a show that's all right, but it has occasional flashes of, oh, well, that's nice. Yes. It's, it's, it's a show that's whatever, and it's got a few little nuggets of cool shit. People noticed that there was cool shit in a show about ponies, and they thought, wow, that's really unexpected, and they formed a community around it. And then everybody started analyzing it, and yeah. and everyone's yeah, a stupid right. idiot. Pirates right. are cool. Airships yeah. are cool. Parrots yeah. are fun. I liked it. The whole movie was great, and I can't believe right. you guys are. But the continuity errors, goddammit! The continuity errors. I didn't given... think the. Okay, well, I, I want to explain how I watched this movie because I did not go into this like uh, like I think some some others did. I went into this movie like I heard it was bad from Ben and Jackie. Um, and or Phantom and uh, what was her equity? Um, equity. That's a genius <laughs> name, by the way. And d- 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 let me let me re- let me quickly touch on the fact that walking into the theater, um, mm-hmm. uh, oh, she got she, she, soon? Yeah, yes. yeah, it's, yes, it's, it's important to me. She got yeah, accosted by some guy in a pony shirt. Uh, who was like, you going to see the pony movie? <laughs> and right okay. then, the tone was set for the experience. <laughs> so, so, uh, so a man asked her a question, and she was deeply offended. Okay, understand. Well, there, What's well, the problem no, he was like He was waiting around in the lobby, and like you could, I, I got the feeling that he was waiting around to like meet his fellow bronies, and like, oh, sure. you know. Uh, and uh, then he spotted two right before him, but he, he knew. It was yeah, time. he did. He, yeah, his, okay. his, his, dar, his dar was on. Gibbon, Gibbon, you liking something? Big, big mistake. You're going to get knocked into some pins. How's that sound? Come up to your location in about five, ten minutes. Gonna knock you. going to knock you right down. Anyway, Munchie. Going to knock you right uh, down real soon. What we were talking about, the, yeah. the ex- viewing experience. Did you want to share oh, oh, your yes, theater yes. experience? Yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. fucking fly <laughs> up the rails into, like, <laughs> random... Nothing, <laughs> please. Okay, okay, okay. I have a story. So I show I show up to the movie theater with my with my posse of insane clowns, and I just I just want to flip. I just want to flip so hard the employees get sweaty. I, I just want to get plumped up. I'm gonna rough yeah. these guys around a bit. I'm gonna slap their lip a few times. Oh my God. And so I order some pretzel bites, and like I assume they're like pre cooked, you know, shit like anus wasters. But like yeah. I order them. And then, <laughs> what the fuck? And so I'm like. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I ordered them, and 
the cashier's like, all right, yours gonna come out real soon. And I'm like, at the naive fool, uh, the naive fool I am, I say like, okay, and I go wait by that side of the corner. With my friend Kyle, I'm talking about this Kyle before. Fuck you, Kyle. He immediately starts <laughs> jeering me most rudely with his gnarled fangs and his angular visage. And he's just, he's telling me we're gonna be late. I tell him, please don't be mean. Or there's gonna be slapping around here right, real soon, right quick, right now. The demon persists. The clock's ticking down. The minutes right before the movie get shorter and shorter. His flamboyantly hostile demeanor rocks the very cold of my spine. He's like, he's like a furry, <laughs> freaky Fred, but only worse and gay. Anyway, I, anyway, I, I get the pretzels and like, and we weren't late for the movie, but we were really close. <laughs> Fuck you, Kyle. Stop being mean to me. And they were like, a, they were like, a, yeah, there's little like bronies and stuff. I, uh, oh, no. oh, 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 I also got, I also got, right before, right before my very eyes, my first movie, My Little Pony Certificate, they had, like, these, like, certificates, like, like, certificates you could get out. For, for, like, what the all, fuck? For, for, like, all the five-year-olds who come to the movie, like, ready to get my their cinema movie? cherry popped. And, and, and I, I, I got the certificate. Is, is, is that like the like, mute? Right, is that like down the... your pony name, write down your pony name, write down your date of birth, and like, and like day to day in your movie theater like place. I'll, I'll take a picture of it. Is that like shit. the promotional Mew card that you got at Pokemon? Yeah, exactly. Movie? <laughs> exactly. Oh my Whoa. god. Yeah. Cool. It all ties together. The, 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 the history the, repeats the, itself. The, the purpose was for like five year olds to like write down their first movie experience, but like everyone took them were just like 19 to 26 year old guys. <laughs> and they just always wrote down that this was their first uh, movie they've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, so, it, so the reason I wanted to bring up my viewing experience, I had already heard from Phantom and Equity that the movie was supposed to be really bad, and I thought it looked really bad. So I was like, I'm going to get drunk and watch this movie, and I didn't want to go out and pay for it. I was really resistant to being on this podcast. Yes, you were. I didn't want to yes, have to were. pay for the we, movie. We, we left you no alternative. But then, <laughs> there was uh, no option. But then the, the, the greatest bro in the world, Keg Standard, um, mm-hmm, as he mm-hmm. would typically do, found an illegal download of the movie for me. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> So, so I, now here's the thing. I watched this with my girlfriend who has never watched My Little Pony. She's seen Whoa. like maybe two episodes of the original show and completely Whoa. avoided it. Like thought it was, was like, I don't want to be a part of this thing. Oh, this, uh, this she smart. saw the, she, she recognized, cause all, of, all the autistic people she knew were into this show. So she <laughs> stayed away. Yeah. Yeah. So, such, so, as, uh, such as her uh, significant <laughs> other, did you, bro? Exactly. <laughs> um, so, so, uh, I went into this movie with a weird mixed feeling because on the one hand, I was expecting it to be bad and I was drinking and we were both drunk when we watched it, but I also really wanted it to be good because I want to convince her that I'm not a fucking, oh, like I'm not it, insane uh, for right. liking My Little right. Pony. Makes sense now. So, so this is the I wrong was, vehicle for I that. was con- <laughs> no, this was, it, in many ways, the early part of the movie was actually good. I thought I liked the first like 20 minutes because I thought it represented what is good about the character interactions in the show pretty well. Oh, like, you're the, a fucking! Mm, I'm gonna knock you down no, real there's, soon there's here. Of, I'm gonna knock you down. There's lots of lines that immediately like get to the heart of like what's good. Like you, you get I that suppose. Twilight's like over. Oh, she's fuck. overbearing. She tries to prepare way too hard. Like you see the no. endearing qualities of Twilight in that early that, part of the movie. That you was see just to check off. That was just of, to check off her character list. Like oh, she likes yeah, math. No, check I that agree. Off. I completely agree. It was just checking off a list. But if you're watching. If if someone who's never seen My Little Pony before is watching this movie and you're checking off a list of all the best character traits of the characters, it's a good place to be. Did you like, she was, okay. she was laughing to... at the jokes and, and thinking and like thinking things that are good about this. And I'm like, okay. oh okay. yes, okay. yes, see, see. And I, like every time they would every time something would happen that was like indicative of something, I would explain it. I'm like, oh yeah, Fluttershy uh, oh, is like God. this, and like that's because. Oh in God, this episode, you mansplained this happened, the you know? entire movie? Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that the plant. entire movie, because <laughs> then we got to the point where they start introducing the plot, and it immediately starts going downhill, and I start explaining, oh, yeah, well, you know, every time they would do a two-parter episode and they'd introduce a villain, those were always shitty okay, episodes okay, everyone, because everyone, it's not really what like, the you, show's you know, about, and it, like, you yeah. know, so, yeah, so basically was, I the movie, the, the movie good was and just, bad. The movie was just like an adventure season finale with all the right. problems. Exactly. All the problems exactly. How many times have think we about, all railed against those specific episodes? About, not just all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Just oh, MLP. look at all these backgrounds. Every... Look at all these side characters that have nothing to do. Here we go again. Not just MLP. Yeah. Any show in the universe, right? What is the worst episode of mm-hmm. any show? The episode that you try to show to a new person that's a friend of yours who's not seen it before. Always going totally to be disagree. a fucking dumpster fire unless you calculate which well, unless episode. Unless it's episode if, one If it's a random episode 
episode. No, episode, episode one of MLP. No, if it's a, if it's a random episode, episode that happened to be on, right, but or like you uh, it's just like for episode one, one to show of, it to yeah, a friend, sorry, no. it's always going to be the a problem disaster. with Nightmare Moon. Or, and, and more vague. I just smile pretty much because, because right? Oh my God, so look, this is my, such a here's the thing, Davu. My girlfriend has the exact same. taste His name is Tape Stack. God damn you. <laughs> and my girlfriend has the same taste as me, and I show her everything that I like, and she and she always feels exactly like I do. And I hated this movie, and she hated the Gigi movie. Gigi Brony like, has was, sex, just in case and you it didn't was, know, by the way. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> the first, I felt like the Thanks first 20 minutes Munchy. was a lot of me going, oh, yes, like, thank you, movie, hey, for proving that his name's that Strawberry big... Milk, you son of a bitch. <laughs> thank, thank you, My Little Pony movie, for proving that there are things about the show that are obviously, like, interesting or good, so that it doesn't look like I'm insane for liking this. But then, as it goes on and there's so many songs so oh, yeah, many songs fucking suck. piss breaks in this yeah. movie yeah. The songs range yeah. from yeah. mediocre yeah. to bad yeah. songs have always yeah. liked all the songs well, I, I'm the, well, well, I'm the biggest on, champion hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not you, you bad. said that Hold on. Yeah, yeah Jackie was saying bad. that too. I completely disagree. There were a yeah, lot of bullshit. great songs that's in the show. No, no, no. We no, all no. knew the They're words totally... to them. We well, that's all... the thing. I know the I know the words. Yeah, to I agree. I haven't there, watched there MLP in, in fucking good. years, and I still remember all the songs that were good. You, Twenty you, minutes after yeah. all the songs that were good. You cannot tell me that you don't like Giggle at the Ghosties. I don't like Giggle at the Ghosties. You can't tell me. That's a bad example. Don't like the Cupcake song. It's a good, good song. Yeah. You no, can't no, tell no. me the, you don't the, like, the, songs uh, the, like the, 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 the songs the fucking... The blow. I would have given the movie I, but, but, but here's the thing. Even if you don't like those songs, they, you remember them, right? They're memorable. Yeah, they, they got right. good hooks true. and shit. No, they're, they're I don't remember great. shit yeah. from this movie. Oh, the movie None of them are memorable. Oh, no. I, 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 remember, I remember the second song. You know why? Because it was literally Friend Like Me from Aladdin. There were no differences. They, it was the same song. Oh, and that was the only one. That was the only song in the movie I didn't hate. So I guess that's why. Yeah. Guys, can we acknowledge the fact that like the songs were absolutely pointless because oh, yeah. yes. they established oh, yeah. something and then take, they take a few minutes to sing about the already established thing. Mm-hmm. Oh hey yeah. Twilight, we're go- we're here. We're gonna help you now. Let's sing about how we're gonna help you. Yeah. Oh like, hey, the, I'm the, this swab the, and the, the, the guy and no her sings. Song was good. Her Let's song was, sing about it. Fine. Yeah. yeah uh, Tempest the, the or whatever her the, name was. Th- with her song <laughs> is that she's standing in a room singing. Yeah, it, it could be more. Yeah, as soon happened. as that yeah. happened, I was like, oh, this is going to be boring. You're not wrong, but the flashback was good. The yeah. flashback I know. Was that was I the disagree. worst part of the movie. You I just think every part bitch. is the worst part of the movie. Well, every part I is the worst part of the movie, but that's beside the point. I want to address a, a, like probably my biggest complaint about this movie Ball. is okay. how badly it copies Disney movies. Yes, I agree. Every song is a ripoff version of a Disney song. It is, Every yep. new character. Okay, the the main the villain, guy. he's literally Hades from Hercules. Agreed completely. Well, he's a good yeah, yeah. He, he I had that, I had that a blue down. flame. Yeah. He's all like, oh, oh, I'm, a blah, 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 blah. I'm this guy. I'm a oh, bad I love guy. merchandise. I'm literally a CEO. Hades. Oh, fuck. Okay, I love his rebranding. Then you've is got, it that um, different from like Discord though? I, I got the feeling they were trying to do like a Discord. Discord here's an, here's an unrelated well, problem that I had with the Storm yeah, King, but, but why did he look so much like Tarek? Yeah, that's a yeah. Big yeah. Big. He was just then you've got Tarek. the the uh, the girl uh, Tempest. All of her facial expressions you could are literally copy pastes of Isma from uh, the Emperor's New Groove, <laughs> and and the placement <laughs> of the Bunga character yeah. is Kronk. Isma like, was way yeah, more expressive. Yeah. Isma yeah. was way more expressive, but like all of all, all of Tempest expressions that she does have are copied from Isma. The, like, the, the same Dom pony was her so upsetting to me. Like Yzma, though. Yeah, well, she's, I mean, she's not I mean, personality-wise, no. But the animation. Well, I mean, Tempest. Is, is I mean, Tempest. Body. A Tempest issue. You know, due, due to my due to my past, uh, you know, racial dysphoria, which I have fully overcome and embraced my <laughs> uniform identity. By the way, that's all in the past. That's over. But 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 due to due to those due to those past unpleasantnesses, I was heavily triggered. I was heavily triggered by Tempest, and I was very interested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was very interested in hearing her backstory, and I was so let down when I finally heard it because I mean, you can infer well, everything that yeah. there's nothing to her backstory other than what you can see at a fucking glance you see yeah, that she's right. got she's a she's a unicorn and her horn's broken what's her that's backstory fine. is that she broke her horn that's the whole yeah. thing <laughs> and you're it's, right, a, it's right. not like she was betrayed by her angels. friends she was wandering into a fucking bear cave and they're like oh we shouldn't do this and she was like nah i want my and then no, 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 and no, then they no, and then they didn't want to play with her because her horn kept shooting out fucking death explosions by accident yeah and understandably she's a little upset about it yeah it's understandable it was just very underwhelming her friends don't like her because she's crippled that's the reason you come out and say it movies come out and say it of course reason sunshine yeah. rainbows they hate crippled people 
By the way, I did want to point out that uh, uh, Tyrick, White Tyrick, and his White Legion <laughs> of, of faceless goons clearly represent the disgusting White race and diversity champions over well, them in the end. So uh, ponies don't just, have White prophecy. people; they only cat, have Black people. Cat, <laughs> exactly, the human White monkeys. Um, you know, weird Cat Man uh, whose design I Fucking hate, cool. and also why was he so Black? Yeah, I don't yeah he was. You mean zebra? Why he was so Black, dude? Dude, you want, you want to talk about Black people? Black, yeah, yeah. That, that <laughs> Betsy <laughs> Porter was literally was, she had a like, servant it, it called matter, Jamal. She, she it had was so weird all, that and they she was like, ooh, mama needs a sea bath. Like, I, I, it bothered me that he were. was the only it was cat. Weird. It bothered yeah. me that there were no other cats beside it's him. It's kind of true. I think yeah. it's weird that, like, maybe if everyone in the towns, like, was black, it would make sense. But just the fact <laughs> dude, that I mean, this the guy is thing, super black when nobody else I actually is. Kind of like dude, that, put right? that aside. Because like the weird thing is the sea pony queen, like, clearly yeah. has, like, that accent. And then her daughter, daughter just doesn't, like, like, not that. even close. Yeah. Not even close. She's Pinkie Pie, too. But, um, What's but the deal with that? Cat, cat bro is... Cat bro's animation is clearly based on the black guy from uh well the the black bad guy from princess and the frog whereas the song yeah. he yes. sings is friend like me by genie like right. the whole movie is just cobbled and then the fucking stupid rainbow dash song is just everything is awesome from the lego movie like yeah. this is just cobbled together ideas of other movies yeah. other better movies yeah. for that matter. that happens when you try I, to I, like it dude I, I want to harp on. I, I want to harp on the similarities between the cat guy and Aladdin specifically, because because he has the same sort of like uh, like like MC Escher uh, lower body <laughs> that Aladdin has when he moves. He's in yeah. this desert type rural <laughs> setting, which I hate. By the way, I'm gonna get that when we get to the location because I hate all locations in this movie. But also, there is this specific shot in that scene where he is like it, like he's lowering down a plank across two buildings for the pony, which is literally a like screen redraw trace of a shot. <laughs> From Aladdin, that his exact same shot is set up and composed Aladdin. like an exact shot from Aladdin, where the, uh, Aladdin puts down a plank between buildings for Jasmine. During the same whole pirate thing. scene, um, I gotta think of a pony name for my girlfriend. I don't know, uh, whatever pony she is, um, was pointing <laughs> oh, out that the big slut, the big slut, <laughs> <laughs> that the, the pirate scene was um, um, very reminiscent of uh, Atlantis, the Disney yeah, movie Atlantis, yeah, the design totally. of the. Uh, yeah. Parrot character. Yeah, like, like, like the function um, of this movie is if you're into the pony brony mindset, then it's a hey, here's an episode that feels cinematic. And if you go into it thinking, oh man, I hope it yeah. wows yeah. me, then every single time something kind of good happens, you will juice every single ounce of juice that you could get out of it and try to suck it up as much as possible to justify <laughs> the fact you're trying to like it. And then every single thing that's bad will fuck you up. You know, there's there's always conceits you have to like accept if you want to have a the, tolerable the, experience. The problem with your premise for me is that I don't like the show anymore. Right. So it's not me like if either. I just view it as an episode Can that's I... cinematic, then it's like, why am I watching No, Red no, Little absolutely. Pony, no, that should be the I review. The review should be, yeah. well, it's hang on. Yeah, it's cinematic, but I don't like the show anymore. It says, why wasn't it a masterpiece? Guys, <laughs> I want to say something. Mm -hmm, go ahead. Yeah. Since we're all on the subject, it's, it's give or take, um, it's just like the writing of the whole thing was absolutely abysmal. It just I'm yeah, so disappointed in the writers. Like they couldn't even do a proper like um, Chekhov's gun. Like I wanted to say this point a lot earlier when we were talking mm -hmm. about the rain boom. By the true, way, this was, was the second point I never got to. Um, like the whole rainbow thing. I think that was their attempt at like a Chekhov's gun. Like oh she wanted to do this but she couldn't. Oh, then they mentioned it a second time but she didn't. And then eventually she got to do it. And that's like the worst application the big orb and the, thing ended up being useless uh yeah that too, that too. but that like too. and like oh, yeah, they're that. so incompetent like the like the main five like they made absolutely useless but they were so incompetent they couldn't even like divide the uselessness you know equally I, between <laughs> the main five like let me just finish I back up. okay all right fine fine it's just like because they gave Pinkie Pie all the reactions, and True. because they gave yeah. Pinkie Pie all the reactions, she Pinkie's just kind of like the problem. she's the mean one. She, 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 but like she completely killed the tone every time the tension was up. She killed it because they gave her the reaction, they gave her screen time, and she killed everything. And <laughs> it was more, the world. more than even more than just the jokes themselves being bad, which they all were. There was like I admit Not there was like one or two one. jokes. There was there was about. exactly one joke that was funny, was it? and, and was it was it? when the pirates are like, let's 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 just let's do bad things to them, and one of them says, let's scar them, oh, and, yeah, and Rarity's emotion. like, oh, and, and, and oh, oh, emotionally, that, and then that Fluttershy. Was the that was great. That was that was, the, was, that was literally the only that joke that was the only joke I needed, honestly. I laughed at some of the the bunga jokes. Oh I no! Oh no! What the, what the hell, dude? 
That was one disgraceful. Did, did you, like I'm going to saddle you up, cowboy, and I'm going to knock you right off your horse and down again. I'm going to knock guys, you down. Guys, guys. I'm not very critical of guys. comedy. If it... I liked yeah, the dumb. whole. Thing. I liked Bun- Bunker was like surprisingly not terrible. By the way, yeah, I thought it was all right. It was fine. No, not there's... terrible, but not good. I okay, if I can say what I... what I what I didn't like about him is that as the movie went on, I felt like he got progressively more retarded. Well, like yeah. early on, yeah. he didn't seem like just an idiot. He seemed like more of a like like weird like he. He thinks he's a badass, kind of, but like also is just like a like yeah, sort of almost like lazy. a stoner comedy kind of guy. Like just yeah, lazy. <laughs> right, yeah. Like very. But then place. as it goes on, he starts acting like more. There's dumb, a lot of characters that seem like kind that. of like they're like done with improv behind the microphone, and it's uh it's it's competent, but it doesn't really fit the whole format of the MLP thing. So yeah. I, I also I, I will compliment this movie on the fact that. Um, all the new characters have better voice actors than anyone well, in the actual that show. That is indeed yeah. true. Yeah. Like, they definitely brought in, like, real actors or something. I don't know yeah. who any of them are. I didn't look it up. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. like, all the new characters were like, oh, they are, like, voiced competently and not like a, you know, like a children's show. Well, you know? <laughs> I have no problem with that. I, was, uh, I, think I really liked really Tempest's voice, you know, honestly. That's Emily Blunt, by the way. Emily the directing Blunt of the movie was, was, was ranging from right okay here. to pretty good sometimes. Because <laughs> so, I was having a relaxed viewing experience, I could just naturally <laughs> notice things. For example, when the... By the way, uh, it was a real... Okay, I'm sorry, when sorry. The, uh, Go ahead. When the, uh, <laughs> the assistant guy who was like Kronk shows up, right? You see him come out mm-hmm. of a ship, and you see him holding a box. You can't see him. All you can see are his feet. And I particularly thought out of my head, oh, right. bipedal. So it's, it's, you know, going into this movie, you're thinking, ponies, ponies. Ponies, 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 four legs, four legs, four legs. Oh, two legs. Contrast, right? That's why I like the whole like going on an adventure thing. It's like, what the yeah, fuck brilliant. is this Disney cat? I sure as hell feel like I we're not in Equestria anymore, right? That's the whole reason I like that whole scene, right? Of the contrast. And also a nice directing technique that was so well done, you probably never noticed I don't know. it. I feel, I feel whole... like weird characters like that show up in Equestria all well, the time. Well, the, the level yeah. of yeah. contrast was what I wanted out of a cinematic experience, right? So then the whole okay. adventure, up to the point that they get to the sea pony like realm, more. They're going from left to right the whole time. Ah, nice. You know, you always feel like you're going further and further away. Then when they go back, they're going to the left. Again, I went into it with, okay, episode, but it's cinematic. It did the fuck out of that. If it just had good songs and didn't have a stupid Twilight fucks up and everyone hates it for five minutes thing, I would have given oh, it a strong... That was the worst I thing. That was hilarious. You took, you took the sin- wind first from my sails As it is, that. strong six I to a light seven believe. is the furthest I can go. Davu, I want to... I wanna, uh, Twilight would resort so it, to fucking theft. That, that is, was the that stupidest is fucking yeah. bullshit force conflict. And it happened, yeah. I, I checked out of the whole movie. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, so hold, on, hold on, hold on. I want to challenge okay. Davu's premise of the fact that we were, like, that we're watching it wrong by nitpicking it to death. Because, Davu, as you said, if we watch this as just an episode of the show, then the question is, why are we watching My Little Pony? So the only justification for watching this movie is that we're going to do a podcast about it where we bitch about it incessantly. Mm. That's the joke. Fine. That is why we're Look, here. we are the heart and soul of the MLP analysis <laughs> community. Like, this is a gold star are, here. Are we going to all watch the MLP <laughs> movie and get into a podcast and go, oh, well, you know, it was fine for what it is, and then roll credits? Like, where's the podcast if we do Okay, that? I just think I optimized my fucking uh, viewing experience. Hey, I, well, well, I'm going to say that I did not. I was Dude, not looking you're for it. You're always min-max, like, oh, do I like this thing properly? Just like it or don't, <laughs> based I'm on go on record that <laughs> I have been dragged on kicking subject. and screaming into Wait, coming up with on. an OC, and then no one, like, refers to me by it. After I was, I was it's finally... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm we, sorry, we, I'm we, sorry. The OCs have been around for years. You just came out with it. You can't expect us to fucking be on board instantly. Tape <laughs> I was, I you fucking had to be dragged into this episode. I was like, why do I need to be on this episode? I never did pony analysis. And Nate was like, no, you have to do it. I'm, I'm sorry, Keg was like, no, we we're all like, why this is important. Well, we're, well, we're so, we're so fucking right? sorry yeah, that you had to be issue? here. <laughs> all right, well, who cares? Uh, Gib was saying something. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, like, I was going to say in, in responding to, like, the thing Davu said about the cinematic camera movement directing, I actually remember, like, multiple moments where I'm like, oh, that's that's neat. That's a cool camera move that's a that's a cool yeah. like special yeah. like you, they, they sure. did that yeah. the very scene... well the backgrounds and the and the camera yeah. and the directing was actually really good the whole way through the yeah, scene where yeah, the, uh, the pirate ship I've... gets attacked they did like shaky cam for a while that was interesting there was one the scene that i did ass. really like and it's 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 in a terrible part of the movie it's when twilight is sad and she's sitting on the rock in like a mist yeah. that yeah. scene yes. looked really cool and was framed really well i just i want to point out uh, I've, I've talked about this in one of my videos before but when you do shaky cam in animation that necessarily means that they have animated beyond the parameters of the frame and are shaking a camera 
camera through it, which I always think is interesting. Like, right. Because you, you, you know, you, you think of it as just they're shaking a camera, but like, then when you think about the fact that it's all hand drawn, it's like, wait, what is the camera pointing at? Um, right. right. So yeah, but yeah. And a, as Kate pointed out earlier, the scene where uh, like Chip at uh, her uh, uh, horn kicks the shit out of that one guy, random goon, uh, in the fucking in the fucking town, and it's this awesome like four part single shot takedown. That that was like a that was a cool moment. Yeah, I love Simba in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love Bunga. Bunga. Tom, Tom, you're saying something. I just I just wanted to point out something like. I, I thought it was really funny how this whole movie can just boil down to Twilight forgets she can teleport the movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I was gonna bring that up. Oh it my was, god, that bothered she's like me trapped so in bad. this fucking cage, and I'm just like, bitch. She <laughs> can the she, she can oh, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god! Wait, wait, okay, I can't okay. To be it. fair, to be fair, there was some there was some weird stuff going on where it was shown that like the shields and the iron those guys seem to be using seemed pretty resistant to magic. But maybe you wouldn't use the magic, magic on that. Thing. You just pop away. They, that, yeah, maybe there that was a is magical literally field. Literally, what it, would it, be the comment on Tom's video? Like, <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. fuck you. Okay, watching this. I want to talk about the most interesting <laughs> aspect of watching the movie to me, like completely mm-hmm. un- unrelated to the actual quality of the film. What was the most okay. interesting to me as I watched this was I could see all the fan art. I could hear the fan oh songs. God. Like I could yep. hear the remixes. I could mm. hear the lines that would become Just memes. The, there's the scene. I, I could see the porn, the scene where uh, like a cake falls on like a, uh, was it Twilight or Pinky? And like uh, Twilight. on Twilight, Twilight and like yeah. all of it's dripping off of her and stuff. Like all this white liquid is yep. poopily dripping dude. off of her. <laughs> <laughs> and was like, dude, there would have been porn of that scene. There would have been. Oh, yeah, drawn by Die Brody. Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, there might be. I haven't checked. But, like, if they weren't I all herded no into a room at Dashcon and assassinated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how up active in the, the community is right now. But, like, yeah. I can We've hear. We've all had a touch, There was, course. like, one song that, um, because, as as uh, Equity pointed out in the, um, mm. in the, what is that? What was the name of the? Uh, T-V-S-S-B-P. T- two very special sun ponies. Bitch yeah. about ponies. As, as the yeah. very special sun ponies uh, uh, pointed out. While, while I, unlike Equity, do like a lot of the songs of the show, they are all almost the exact same song. They all use the yeah. same chord progressions. And there was yeah. a song in this movie that did that. And because of that, I could hear the remixes. Like, I could hear where the beats would fall and everything. And it was really trippy for me as somebody who consumed probably more fan content of MLP than any other human on Earth. I mean, um, I'm, I'm willing so to be forgiving weird. of the songs for being all pretty similar in structure. Because, like, this is MLP yeah. we're talking about. This is a kid's movie. We don't need, like... It's, they just were it, also not good because the it, hooks it, were bad. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's a yeah. separate issue. I want to like, like the, the, good, the good the songs from old MLP me. were still simple. <laughs> the, the the way I've always seen the music, I mean, this is just sort of the way I, I listen to music in general, is that I like like the the instrumentality more so than I the chord progression. I don't pay attention to what chords are being played. I I I, I like you know the instruments being used and the the melodies that are going along with them and it's like oh that's a really cool like little get spanish guitar bit like i like that and a thing and and I, I i you know i i liked all the songs because you know regardless of like how similar they are to other songs in mlp uh they got good instruments and daniel ingram is good at that i think G- gibbon i'm gonna shave you i'm gonna groom you i'm gonna push you right over <laughs> uh hey l- let me let me tell you my favorite thing about this movie too uh, my favorite thing was okay. So when when Twilight reveals herself to be literally friendship challenged, uh, so so like uh, her friends are all, <laughs> you know, entertaining yeah, yeah. the the princess or whatever, and it is in fact revealed that Twilight is like. Okay, Twilight, having Twilight be the princess of friendship is like hiring someone with Down syndrome to be the head of Homeland Security. Like, mm-hmm. they could be a fine person, I, but they're just not right for the job. There is just no not right justification for, the job. for that scene. Like, there's it's no... It's unbelievable. I cannot, Wait, are you talking about when she steals the orb? Yeah, I yeah. can't yeah. imagine... Just, just like in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And, uh, but I digress. <laughs> I'm just pointing out it, it was another, another, another was moment reference, where ben. she forgets she could teleport. Phantom. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just throwing that one yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. And like, at the very beginning as well, when she's trying to get away from the guys... The, the princesses just did nothing, by the way. They did not move. They did not, like, say, go away. No. They, just, they just oh, stood there. How fucking annoying was it when Ooh. Derpy was the one that jumped in front of the bullet and yeah. took the yeah. bullet <laughs> so confused by that. Oh, did oh, did Rainbow, was, like, swoop oh, in to save her? Did well, she replace okay. Twilight with I her? I guess that's what happened. 
Right. I was very confused by that because I you right. you see Rainbow fly in and grab yeah, right. her. It, no, but then, no, you, you see Derpy. Wait, wait, Mage knows. Way too fast. You Mage? see Derpy like uh, for a few seconds just before, like when it's zooming in on Twilight, you uh -huh. can see Derpy at the bottom so left corner. She's behind corner. her or something. Right. Okay. No, I remember yeah, specifically she, she, that scene. Okay. To the side. It was it was confusing, right, but well, I, well, did, by, I did I piece together it, that it was Derpy. Just because it cut away too fast. I was like, okay, I knew there was a joke there, but I just needed one quarter of a second longer to process what happened. But it cut away. Fuck you. I'm not rewinding. I want to. Speaking editing, of that, the editing we, was shit. By I, the way, like, like, things dragged too long. There was weird, awkward, long transitions between scenes that really bothered me. Maybe it's a cinematic thing. I don't know. But go on, Tom. Go on. I was just. I mean, I. I guess we kind of talked about this a little bit, but the fact that once again the three princesses are fucking useless. Like yeah. this is. Mm. This is mm. like. Like this is the setting to really like show them off and do something cool with them finally. Yeah, yeah. But like to be instantly again like relegated to nothing in the first like twenty minutes, I'm just like oh. Okay, here's it's I, so I, fucking he, stuck he, here's and it a weird pisses thing. me off. Why the fuck is the villain like so intimidating? What, what is his? What is the basis of his power? Because like all he seemed to have right? was the staff that is oh, established yeah, yeah. that fucking Tempest gave to him. Right. So right. what did he have before him, that? More like I guess he army? just had did a really good marketing well, campaign. Well, like, but like, don't you think it's kind of retarded yeah, too? The fact that this character Tempest, like, why wasn't she the big bad? Because yeah. her whole yeah. point is that like yeah. I don't trust anybody anymore. But then trust this guy to do what he says. So like it just makes like, her look and retarded. And she was right. She was right to not trust anyone because he didn't wait, do what right. he said he was going to do. Wait, so she that's, was right. That's, that's literally the fucking story with Tyrick. She is Discord and he is Tyrick. That's exactly oh what happened. Yeah, and also true. like she's like way too competent to be his underling. She did every single she thing did for him. She did everything. It's, she did yeah. everything. It's so dumb. It's it's it was she, just yeah, there incredibly was just, there stupid. Was some, there was some promise here that that all hinges on of like that he had the unique ability to heal her horn. Yeah. But no, that's what anyone who had the staff, on. anyone right. who held the staff would have had the exact no, 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 same I, power. I don't, I don't think that's true because even though Twilight has the staff at the end, she still doesn't heal her. I yeah. assume that's because well, it actually I'm thinking can't that be maybe done. that, that, that the done. staff wouldn't have actually let her do that because yeah, like it gave exactly. him power yeah, over the awesome. sky and stuff. Exactly. But, it, but like right. none of the princesses have healing powers except Cadence. But, maybe. Yeah, see, but that, I that's the thing. It was not actually possible, and he was okay. But this is this is the issue I'm talking about. Why would she agree to be his servant? Like before he gets the staff, and then bring him the staff. If like he, uh, why didn't she just do it herself? That's like, why very would, true. Why would he be and very stupid. Yeah. Here's yeah. Maybe he what, what exactly did he maybe. did he bring to the table for? Her? I mean, that's well, like, a marketing that's campaign. Like, well, like I, guess, general, I guess the truth. I guess he gave her the, the truth. That is that just she general needs, bad guy yeah. logic, though. So did yeah. she need yeah. the yeah. troops? Yeah. Though the whole time she just the, fucking the steamrolls everybody. Was it established when she got in with him? Maybe he picked her up as a little orphan. Nobody likes you, but I'll train you to be a child soldier. It didn't seem that was established. Yeah, that's that's some head cannon there. That's 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 some ink gross territory. You go flesh that out. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, God. God. The fucking way, then what does it matter? Right. Like, uh, okay, <laughs> but since we're talking about this, I did want to say, uh, uh, so I was talking about my favorite part of the episode. It was when um, there's a brief yes. moment during the assault, like when they're raiding the place, when um, uh, Fluttershy... for you. I, I know, right? So Flutter, Fluttershy, like, take like they're all fighting oh, one. It yeah, shows how yeah. each of them defeat them. Fluttershy, like, calmly, uh, like, uh, acts like a psychiatrist or a psychologist to one of the troops. Like, that's how she takes it out. I just want to say that was a really nice Dr. Wolf reference. And I really <laughs> <appreciate> <laughs> that. Mm. that was That was my favorite By moment. By the way, who, I, else, yeah. who else felt yeah. it was a huge relief <laughs> when they did the, um, like, the Discord balloon at the beginning? And yeah. that, to me, oh, was yeah. a signal yeah. he would not be in the movie. Well, and I was like, oh, agreed. thank agreed. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, speaking about the villains and shit. So, so, okay, I mean, I've, I've, I've missed a couple Wait of Wait a minute, where was he? Right. No. Why didn't they fucking get him to hell? Yeah, well, the, 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 fuck? No, my, the magic in ben, this whole show is kind what? of broken. Phantom, Phantom Horn, my, my assumption is the yes, reason Discord, hey. Discord <laughs> isn't in the, in the movie is because this script must have been written forever ago because Starlight wasn't in the movie either mm. and she's one of the main characters now. Yep. So she they just kind of crammed yeah, everybody yeah. into the yeah, credits. I'm just assuming the script was written years ago and all this shit happened. I would have assumed this was written right after season four. Right. Like, that's where I would say it takes place in the timeline. Right. So, like, talk about villains the, the, right the, now. I, I didn't even think about it, but but the conspicuous absence of Discord is, like, a huge fucking deal breaker. Right. <laughs> so, 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 so here's what's happening. Canterlot was sieged, and now that's right. under attack, but, like, the rest of Equestria is still fine. Why did they have to go... Like, it's not like the entire population was fucking ob obliterated. They could go back to Pointerville, they could go back to fucking, you know... Wherever go the there is, and use your go goddamn get your, friendship go get nuke. Your use the friendship friend. nuke. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the why didn't they use the tree? Remember, remember when there Look. were Native Americans in My Little Pony? <laughs> I do. Dude, like, don't until the Trail of Tears happened. The whole thing is dumb. Is like even leaving didn't even matter. Like they could have finished like 
solved everything right in the beginning because like they go on this huge big quest to get this orb that does nothing yeah. and all they do is get the princess to help them and she does literally all they nothing. do in the end they just beat up the bad guys right. they okay. just I got them up it's how really they win. Oh, no how do you guys all feel about the fact that somebody fucking died yeah in this movie. i was trying to say I love love it. It. Shit. Shit. dude i love it i almost it. forgot that was fucking insane. Yeah, that, that was, was five mystical guys. seasons. Has this happened? And then they play with this fucking seven? corpse. They I play do. with this goddamn I do like how we got straight up murdered. It made me guys, very happy. Guys, 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 though. Okay, guys, have you, did you watch the credits, though? Yes. yes. They no. keep fucking no. the credits. No. Corpse. No, yeah, no, no, no. Even awesome. the credits, his eyes move, so it implies he's what? still alive, oh, even oh, though oh, being. Are you kidding me? No. Uh, that, that ruins the only the good fuck? part of this movie! Wow. That's making sense. Know. It's I been know, robbed that, of any That's impact. even worse! That's even worse, because he's eternally severed. He's that, you eternally know, in you know, limbs. Oh, he, he's like that guy in JoJo. He's like that guy in JoJo that Josuke uh, puts in the rock. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my favorite anime. Why you should watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the show. Was anybody else actually, like, a little shook by that? That like a straight up murder happened in yeah, my little well, it was a, it was an accident. I mean, you know, I, I, I just murder. was thinking like, about. Like I was just thinking about the, the fact that a, an on screen death occurred. For, did, for, I was like, whoa, worth, Sombra, whoa, 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 whoa! I believe whoa. Sombra was killed. I, I think Sombra yeah, did die. That was going to bring up. Yeah, pretty yeah, sure. Wait, what? It wasn't very too. graphic though. This was like they show a shard. They show a shard of Storm King's head slide across the ground. I was like, holy fuck! Did you? I hate I hate to bring this up again, but don't you think that's another Disney trope that? They aped is the no, villain dies. Yeah. Yeah. The sure. villain dies by falling, and it's not oh, exactly anyone's that, that, fault. That's, that's the funny right. thing about oh, it wow. is that <laughs> I thought exactly. I kind of thought it was inappropriate for the villain to like die <laughs> horribly in a My Little Pony movie. It was a little weird. A movie you know, that has no I, real stakes and where most of it, like the villain's like a goofy dude. Like he's he doesn't come across as like a violently evil. He true. didn't kill anybody. You know, well, like it's, it's fr friendship is magic, but if you cross us, you're fucking dead. I, 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 hate, her, by I, the way. Ju I just play. I just played Cuphead, which uh, has me thinking about how all the horrible, fucked up things that used to happen in cartoons, and I want more of that. I want so much death I'm just in my cartoons. That, like, it's it's not, fucked up devil shit. It was shit. weird in this movie where yes. like nothing that bad. Like in the case of Sombra. It, he felt like he and had, I'm pretty sure he does die, but um, Phantom like he it was he gets like, a like huge, obliterated by yeah love it was or like a huge right? blast of light yeah. and he's like yeah. evaporated um, maybe but I don't remember Sombra was a much bigger threat though than this dude right. I love Sombra because Sombra was just hero. an angry <laughs> evil guy who like turned everybody to crystal and was like right. gonna literally yeah, fuck that's up the problem. everything another problem with the movie is that the stakes are already too fucking high the only Such way to a have badass. a movie that would actually be significantly <laughs> more epic is if it was like end of Equangelion where like everything's all abstract and by, by the way, that uh, movie. My, what I was thinking about when I saw that and was I really started running through my mind. That, that, that's a great line. A great it line. all it... returns to muffins. That's perfect because uh, uh, it's a really inappropriate word, and that's exactly what a pony remix of that song would be. Yeah, well, yeah. When, when, that, when that guy died, though, my mind started racing about the board meeting that must have happened where they were discussing, like, okay, yeah. what context is it acceptable to have a character actually die in? Okay, first of all, he's frozen into stone so that he can shatter, and no one actually, like, does anything to him. Two, he has to, like, be, like Ben was saying, it's not specifically he, anyone's fault, He, really. he basically kind of dies. Happens. He dies exactly like Gaston. Like, he's, no, exactly. he's, he's yeah. Aggressive action is what ultimately causes his. Fall Even though I'm sure Twilight indeed, could have indeed. easily fucking targeted yeah, like, him too like on that hovering. Yeah, I mean, yeah, come yeah. On. Like that guy, he had no powers. He just had a staff. I just, I don't. Right, and the fucking. Like, and then he loses the, the staff. Why didn't they just fucking kill him when he lost the staff? Had just random fucking bubblegum god mode killer gum that just turns people to stone no matter how fucking OP they are. Gotta exactly. love the lore of this world, right? Plus, plus, even when he had the staff that one time, she faces off with him head to head and, like, they prove to be, like, an even fucking match him with yeah. the powered up staff. What the fuck? Uh, whatever. If I don't Thor know. Prince that would that easily fucked just up. just fucking obliterated everyone and they just I, did not even try. That you know is incredible. Attempt. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't is, even right? think about that. It's fucked I wonder up. if you it's could really do a, I wonder up. if you it could do a cut up. of this movie well, where it's the beginning where he gets the staff or it like gets the staff and then it just you cut the entire middle of the movie yeah, and it just yeah. cuts to the assault and nothing really of value would be I'm, lost I'm, I'm 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 going into head cannon now but maybe it's like maybe like breaking the horn didn't rob her of her power just like of the ability to control it and so like her power is coming something out like, like raw and unfiltered I, now I, or but something she, like but that. she 
there's this magic yeah. all over the movie. She her horn well, like works. She does fire. It's, it's, it's it only it, well, it only works for that one specific thing, yeah, which is I, you yeah, know, funnily like, enough, just happens to be explosions. Her it's, super yeah. special. She's Fizzle Pop Sparkle Butter or whatever. It was no, Fizzle, Fizzle, Fizzle Pop Berry Twist. twist. Fizzle, Fizzle Pop Berry Twist. And so I assume that her her like fireworks were gonna be her super special talent anyway. So like the oh, fact that the, her horn breaking yeah. precludes you know all magic other than that one thing she was destined to be good at is pretty neat. But I guess that's just equestrian destiny in action. Yeah, yeah guys, pretty much. Guys, since we're talking about the staff, like, why do the princesses in their castle have this one thing where you put the staff in that yeah. can rob them of yeah, their powers? Yeah, I know, right? I know, oh. right? I don't fucking know. Like, wait, there was a slot for this staff. There was wait, a slot what? for it. Wait, wait, yeah. well, he, he had the staff. He brought the staff with him, right? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. from somewhere yeah. else, somewhere maybe, far away. Maybe they built that in, like, the week that they had after the, the pony. If you have to head Canada away, it wasn't I, written well, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. You, you mean three days canonically? Three yeah, days yeah, canonically? maybe maybe in three days they carved uh, out the bro, mystic sigils really required curious, for this ceremony. That phrase that you just said could have been so helpful over the years. If you what? have to headcanon it, it's oh. not good writing. Lol. That could have saved us so much. <laughs> yeah. I just figured so it goes arguments. without fucking saying, but every it's, time you bring that up, you get fucking I, shit on, so uh, fuck uh, you. Well, well uh, headcanoning uh, is fun. Headcanoning, people people fun, like people like fun, to not have answers but to making But it's not a defensive things. shit writing. Well, I'm not, I'm no. not sure we well, should really listen be. to anything. The tall tales. Uh, known denouncer and lever of the My Little Pony fandom has to say <laughs> about this stuff. You know, well, I never left the fandom. Just, <laughs> just saying. Yeah, I'm, just still, saying. I'm still here, guys. I'm still here for life. Look, your best friend, Phantom Horn. Yeah. Uh, but he, Alive and kicking. Here's what I don't understand about the Storm King and his his ilk. Because mm-hmm. okay, so immediately once he captured everyone, like okay, we learn about this guy named Storm King. Never heard about him before. The princesses act like they don't know who the fuck this is. Then we leave Equestria, and immediately we're in his territory. Yeah, he has captured yeah. all of these locations. The pirates are in his control. Yeah, why have like, they done the anything about this control. already? <laughs> yeah, and, and the hippogriffs are completely outrun and Look, completely the ponies, obliterated. The ponies are extremely nationalistic and isolationist. It's, don't you yeah, find, and didn't you find it retarded world. though that like everybody's been fucked over by this guy in but, but some we, I guess from no out of time. Clue. But but yeah. but as soon as soon as we're in trouble, well, we're gonna go get help. Like first that's they're just to totally gonna help us. Yeah, exactly. It was exactly what I was thinking. You know, first they came for the Griffins and I did nothing, and then they yeah, came yeah. for the pirates. Exactly. <laughs> then they came for me and there was no one to help me. But I could actually exactly. Holy shit. He was actually pretty weak and Okay, 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 okay. Did you notice the subtle, no, not subtle, blatant racist undertones? Twilight explicitly <laughs> wanted to establish an ethno state within this My Little Pony movie. She keeps saying, oh, We can't trust con artists, quote unquote. I know. We can't I trust know. pirates, quote unquote. Just come out and know. say, Twilight, there's, you there's, hate furries because you're persecuting. She says that you're a pony just <laughs> like me. Tempest, I don't understand why you aren't on my side. You're a pony, you're a pony just, just like, like me. me. What's going yep. on here? <laughs> did you, right, did you find it right. a, little bit, a little bit racist when Rainbow Dash is like, make, like, saying like this cloven hoof motherfucker over here I'm like yeah, oh my god yeah, yeah. whoa is there some Sick. shit here I'm not aware <laughs> of <laughs> nothing nothing gets my big blue horse dick rock harder than pony racism <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking I love that yeah, shit so, so Storm King just owns all this land he, the hippogriffs who it's let's say was specifically saying to contact have been already overrun so like what was the plan here Dude, okay like, hang like, on like, not, not even not overrun know? Not even overrun, but like it's been like who even knows how long since yeah, this happened. Yeah. It is the city is in ruins. It's been there a while. Yeah. 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 Uh, and Celestia didn't know shit. She full, didn't know shit. Full disclosure. Well, she's by in the character. Way. Um, yeah. Yeah. Full disclosure, I did not uh, watch this entire movie. Oh, oh my oh! fucking god. Okay. Oh, after right. after the sea pony scene and then everybody getting mad at each other and splitting up, that was where I started hitting the uh, forward button. And That's where I wanted it. to hit the forward I, I, button, I but I manned out. I watched like a couple mm. seconds of every five seconds right. of the rest of the movie. Right, because so. I saw there was a new a video did you that you made recently called "Thoroughly Analyzing Ponyo," and you saw you talked about how you don't like those kinds of scenes in movies, and I can yeah. completely respect skipping it there. Yes. Yeah, because that was it was just. First of all, yeah, Twilight's trying to steal the pearl was super obnoxious. And yep. as soon as the scene started, I went, oh, here we go. It's going to be – they're all going to be mad at each other. But And here's here's what I predicted, and I was completely right. They will not have to resolve this. <laughs> it will just resolve itself. It was, it was Twilight will be captured, and they'll all come to help her. They will I mean, not – it won't be that they have to have a conversation about, like, what she did wrong or anything like that. Right, no. it, they're just going to – she's going to get in trouble. They're going to help her, and none of this will have meant 
anything. Yo, we just, we just presume. Exactly we just is. presume that Twilight has learned something in all of this. Uh, there really is no, there is no confirmation of that in any way. And she would do it again. She right. would do yeah. it again. No, she she says, was fucking. She cake. says, "I didn't. Friendship didn't fail me. I failed friendship." Okay, what does that mean exactly? Shouldn't, shouldn't she be demoted? I want Shouldn't those wings how go many, away? How many yeah, times man. does Twilight? Yeah, like, she should how, definitely have to go on a pilgrimage right. to like how read How many times does Twilight or get to learn this right. lesson yeah, broke, before we just say you're broken? Your, your most you know? popular yeah. video, uh, theories on Alicorn Princess Twilight Pop Sparkle, your most popular video, you talk yeah. about how she earned yes. her wings in the episode where she didn't even need to learn anything about friendship. She intuitively fucking exactly. got it. Now, the rewrite for this low Lowest point scene would be simple AF, right? They do the song, Twilight's part of the song, to the sea ponies, and they do a great job convincing them, and then the queen is all like, this is a fun song, but wait, you're just trying to manipulate me. I hate you. Go away. And then they're all super bummed because they thought they were being really nice and they were extending a hand of friendship mm -hmm. and they got smacked mm -hmm. back down. And maybe you could even have Twilight get a little bit agitated that all of her all of her learnings about, about friendship didn't work this time. And she can still have a little bit of a kerfuffle with her friends. Not really ideal, but you can still have wax it in there if you needed to. And that's it. She could still be just as friendship intuitive as she was. Oh, and she is. learns that she has to, she has to, if she wants to do the job right, she has to steal and kill. Look, Twilight, so Twilight, she at, that point. Twilight, she Twilight at that point. Orb, and then she goes and kills the bad guy. Twilight like at that point becomes a, she uh, learns the lesson of becoming a race that. realist and realizing that <laughs> <laughs> will, simply not, will simply not be able to understand her high level I've pony friendship because they are lower beings. I've never phrase before, that's awesome. A race real. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Dude, good one. Okay. Twilight literally. <laughs> and, and, and a new I a new a new race re a new race realist is born. <laughs> oh, okay. Takes that I, confirmed race fu realist. Fu <laughs> fucking Twilight manipulates her friends straight out, just like 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 I know. does not cold tell them the blooded. plan. Fucking she, cold blooded. She could just tell him tell them their like her plan and they would like talk about like Because friends, she knows they wouldn't be like on board friends. because they're not evil like Twilight. Yeah, they're not yeah, smart they're enough. Not they're not evil smart enough. And fucking thieves like her. <laughs> Like so, uh, like like the prince of thieves? Wait, no, uh, Aladdin and the these, king of thieves. These, uh, these naive, these the naive king. ponies mm -hmm. still naively trust in the power of friendship. When Twilight has seen the error of her ways, yeah. because okay. the Catman was mean to them. Listen to this. So so with become with becoming the princess of friendship, she has now like got an actual state position, and it is now her responsibility to look out for the well being of the entire kingdom. That she does say that in the puts, beginning of the movie herself. That right, inherently right, puts guys. actual friendship on a right. lower level than the stupid. safety That's of the, the people of Equestria. The whole so now. It's, it's not her priority. Point. It's not her highest priority anymore. Yep. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. I, I'm about to drop a bombshell that's going to completely hijack this conversation for the next 35 minutes. Oh, I'm, no. either, I'm, 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 I'm either oh, going to no. I'm, I'm either going to be jeered or I'm going to be peered or I'm going to I might be knocked down. I might, I might be saddled up. I might I might be plumped up. Some of you okay. guys might hold me like six feet above water and like like boil me, steam above me, break open my carapace. <laughs> okay. You know, yeah. The, 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 you guys might groom me, but here we go. Twilight, can we please? We've been out of this fandom for for who for God knows how long we've been. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Can we please stop pretending? Can we please just be honest with ourselves? Tw Twilight being a princess was always a bad idea, and it was never cool. And can we please stop oh, pretending God. that it was? Can yes. we I have all. Stop? I have always said from the very beginning that Twilight becoming a princess should have been the last episode of my. Yeah, I completely agree. Agreed. I completely yeah, agree. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. anybody I mean, going to the, disagree with that? Not to even bring up the fact that the how it happened doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, that, we, I yeah, think it's okay. I, I, I think it, I think it's cool, but there was just a million ways it could have been done better, which I believe Foster I know herself Digi. had in Digi mind. I know Digi was pretty positive about it at yeah. the time. Yeah. Having, uh, uh, I don't I, I, see any reason it can't happen. I, well, I, I like I, I enjoyed the episode. What just like the, with the logic behind it is totally I, fucking I'll is say, totally fucking opaque. I think mm -hmm, yeah. I, I I used to say um, even at the time that I think it should have happened at the end of season four because. Right, right. There should have been an arc like like season four feels like the arc leading up to her becoming princess. Like yeah. when you when yeah, you does. see the way that people react to her, the way she's not really treated like a princess that season, and the way mm -hmm. people react to her is like she's someone important now, but not quite. There should have been an arc about her becoming like famous or like known as a problem solver, and like people are coming to her, and as she solves friendship problems around mm -hmm. Equestria, she eventually is granted princess status. That's... Maybe establish that that's a thing that can happen before springing yeah. it on you out of nowhere. The, the, the world like, of Equestria is a little the, too The thing thin that I never that. liked about yeah. the the princess thing with the wings is that it, yeah it was it was celestia and luna and that's it right 
and they they were like super special. Yep. They erased the sun and the yep. moon. Yep. yep. And yep. then you can Cadence, just become one, and then there's Cadence. For me, the letters. thing about this, this was my like, argument the back point? in the day. They've they become less and less right, interesting, yeah, and the lore becomes more and more power group. convoluted. And, and it's very and it's very clear that being mm. a princess doesn't mean you are you you've solved like you're very good at it. Right. It just means yeah. that you're. Well, that's because, dude, like, for me. That's for me. My problem with terrible. Yeah. Yeah. My problem oh, God. with we're, we're getting in some deep with, shit. With now. This is bringing me back. Been, I think it would have been easily possible to make Twilight becoming a princess make sense in the narrative right. and everything. I just think that it was not. It was jumped the gun because of the mm. mandate from Hasbro to do right, it. Yeah. And right. then they had yeah. to kind of work the series around it. And it's not until season five that it starts making sense. Where Isn't like she amazing. actually is well, treated for me, like a my biggest problem. It's amazing to think now Twilight being... that Twilight has been a princess longer than she God. has not been. At the end of season I know. five, so fun. that's crazy. Seven. So yeah. okay, so my pro- biggest problem with Twilight as an alicorn is it means that the main six only has one unicorn now. And it, look, look, you know. Yeah, the first yeah, that's my problem too. Is that about, they? Right. Two by two no, 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 no. As we all know, no, look, actually, we might not. This might be kind of secret information, right? But, okay, part of the appeal of MLP <laughs> is encased in autism, as you, I don't know, maybe some people have heard. In case. You have to chip away the autism to get to the My Little uh, Pony patterns. goodness. I, 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 I would right? say that there is, if you, had, if you had a Venn diagram of autism and My Little Pony fans, it's mm-hmm. m- it's almost just a circle. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 We're all uh, dead in the middle of that. So and and, and we know we're we're the, we're the only ones on the edge. Right. We're the <laughs> only ones yeah, outside. Like, well, I, I am say, in the middle of that. The, so. the main six, they all. I mean, most of the ponies, they all have the same basic character shape with some slight differences, different color palettes. Sonic the Hedgehog mm-hmm. is the yeah. same. This sort of symmetry <laughs> is pleasing yeah. oh, to the man. autistic yeah, eye. Man. And two unicorns, two <laughs> Earth ponies, <laughs> and two Pegasus <laughs> high means there's this nice symmetry that's very pleasing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and it's Dura. really triggering my autism that they changed it. Is right. What <laughs> like, no, I, I, right. I totally agree. And that was actually, like, if you read the very first analysis I ever wrote about MLP, like, my argument is essentially that, like, while even though the show is, like, all flash animation and, and stock stuff, like, that is the appeal. Like, that, it's so samey that it's, like, such a clear... Right, like, yeah. You, you can so clear... You can understand it at a glance, you know? You get, like... And you can make your own. You can inject your own because it's so easy. It's such a template, you know? Which is why it's so Indeed. popular for, for autistic people because it's all... You can... Yeah, it's like it's like what... Uh, what God damn it! What the fuck? Tape, tape stack. stack. Tape stack. Um, yeah. It's it's like you said <laughs> now about we're seeing somewhere. all the ones and zeros <laughs> in the show. Like uh, mm-hmm. when you look at the animation now. Like yeah, I think that's what we we all kind of did from the start. Is you see the ones and zeros and you like the ones and zeros. You want to play around with them. You want to program with it. You know, autism programming. It, this is all. It's all a rich tapestry. This all so, goes together. So so we're we're all on the spectrum, is what it's you're saying. It's all a we're rich all tapestry that we that use to right. weave into a I, giant pressure blanket that we use to get to sleep at night. <laughs> I, I don't know yeah. if you guys feel the same way, but the the locations in this movie were all fucking horrible. Okay, but you, but you like okay. In My Little Pony, th- things are clean and colorful, and like really interesting guy. Mm-hmm. It's like really mm-hmm. interesting when they go to a completely generic, done to death, all one color, brown, sandy, literal Star War, common yeah. fucking corporate friendly. I mean, that's what they were going for. Ghetto. You know, Fair. you know, Munchie, Yo. I I I was really upset because. When they show that kingdom from the distance, it mm-hmm. looks awesome. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. The, the the image from a distance looks really cool, and I was excited because it made me think of how the worst thing about um like episode one of season five was when they go mm. to that town that just looks like shit. It's just right, nothing, yeah, and it yeah. was like the most mm-hmm. unmemorable location in the whole fucking show, and yeah. that had really bothered me at the time. So seeing this, I was like, oh hey, it's like the art design that I expect from the show, and then they go there, and it's just a generic um yeah like yeah. bizarre, just, and I was it, like, it's oh, all, it's one it's of these. All one color. I feel it's like I'm watching exactly an isekai anime. one mid-tone color. You're right. not wrong. And even when they you get to cool wrong. locations <laughs> like the uh, and, and the like last the location area. is like that too. Well, like the yeah. underwater what was the last location, location? Right, was the all sea like, pony place sucked. Hold on. I'm, 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 I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the top of the mountain was all gray, and then when they go and they're all sad and they're like, Twilight, you're mean. And she's like, yeah, I am. It's all gray as well. It's all gray. I mean, that movie's weirdly gray. though. That that is yeah, the trope yeah. of the breaking up the friends scene. Is that it's a gray place. Like if you yeah. watch all those Disney movies, it's always in a gray Plus, location. Gotta, there was there was definitely an element. There was definitely an element of juxtaposing the pastelness of the ponies with the like drabness of these other environments, especially the ones outside yeah. of Equestria. I think like, that was obviously the point. some it's of that was all the point. drab, and it makes me want yeah, to no, die because it you're not sucks. Wrong. 
Yeah. Wasn't the underwater place well, pretty cool? Yeah, but they like couldn't bother the environment than just the throne room, you know? Like, that's the, kind of what the, they took The, the throne of. room, not only is it that it's just the throne room, but also that the throne room is literally copy-pasted from The Little Mermaid. It's just the same place. Where's what you from, cut out well, from The Little Mermaid, I, yeah. I liked the the, uh, the 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 song montage done when they were in the water place it was enough to endear me to I that I went to place. the bathroom during that enough. song because I was uh, sick I was of fun. hearing songs was, in the movie. I liked so. it. I see. I, I you watched songs the torrent. There's a pause button. Audience. What's wrong with you? No, I wanted to make. I wanted to not have to watch it. So I yeah, went. Right, I went. Right. Oh, they're singing. Great. Let me get up and go get oh, a drink oh, so that, that I don't have to watch it. Oh, that digi brony. What was, an analysis. The integrity of all of your analysis work is now. <laughs> completely fucked. I don't trust a word you say. Uh, you shouldn't have in the first place. <laughs> I've never hey, had um, integrity. Hey, hey, we, That's we've why I'm a gonzo one, like, <laughs> we, 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 We've been glossing over a part of the movie, which if you watch the trailer, you could have assumed was a big part of the movie, but in actuality wasn't. Mm -hmm. That one celebrity appearance was literally completely I was gonna meaningless bring that up. and meant uh, nothing. Well, yeah. She only had like three I, lines. I forgot. Literally just to trick people to see the movie, but it didn't work because I don't have no yeah. clue who this what fucking person is. Of, uh, She's just some Stacy. She's just some Stacy. It's Sia. <laughs> it was Sia. I like her. I like I, I, her I, I, hair. I, I, I guess. Something very important. That's... Okay, okay. Her, her speaking voice. Her speaking voice is so soft and quote unquote genuine. You're not kidding anyone. We know you're mean. We know you're awful because you're a celebrity and they're all bad. We're <laughs> not <laughs> kidding anyone. We know you're bad. We know it. Stop tricking people. For what it's worth, Sia. What she's famous for is that she's an anti-celebrity. That she she has no no one knows what she looks like. She's mm -hmm, like okay. a hidden like she writes the the biggest pop songs in the world, but she's never revealed herself, and nobody mm -hmm. knows anything about oh, is that her. Why so her she's face like was covered by all this hair. Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's actually yeah. what she looks mm -hmm. like in real life. I don't know she, fuck, I don't she know has the shits. black. You, didn't you know? Didn't you know the uh, the swinging on the chandelier song with the little girl who dances? And it's like the yeah, pedophile do, do, anthem yeah, yeah. of the year. Do you year. honestly think I have any connection what? to pop culture? Anybody know what the fuck this is? Yeah, I, I, know, I know the I one know you're exactly. talking about. I, I, I watched know. the music video for uh, Tom, there's uh, what's no that song? way you haven't heard this song because it was like, I heard it and I don't watch any anything pop related. But I don't know. You know way more about music so, than I do. Chandelier. Uh, well, was it just fucking... like the ocean under the moon? You got the same as... It was that? Song's like 20 years old. That's the one. That's the one. That's Sia. It's Carlos I, Santana. I, 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 I was certain that there was like a Carlos My Little Mencini. Pony <laughs> animation oh, of Jesus. this video, you know? Like I watch Sia's uh, Cheap Thrills music video all the time because I love it. Uh, yeah, Sia's pretty cool. Sia's right pretty here. cool. It's my fist against Cheap your... Uh, it's going right to slap you real quick. Wait, Cheap Thrills... Is that, Up yeah, with that is it, go. Down with it, go. Yeah, it's that fucking reaggae shit. Uh, I like I've it a lot. I've seen this, know. but I don't know who or what Okay, it is. let's not get too f hung up on this. The point is, Sia was in it. She's a celebrity. She sang a song. She was a character. She was, she was okay. totally pointless. I, but, I didn't but, care. It was they fine. let her. They let her. She's me. actually a pony, and that was her face. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> this, this is the canon Sia. This is the actual one in the movie. The human version is just an avatar. She's been communicating with the real world. Maybe we're all just. Maybe we're all just. Maybe we're all just characters in a show that the ponies are watching. Oh, you guys ever no. think about that? Oh my it's god! It's like the Simpsons game for Xbox 360. <laughs> <Is that what laughs> <you're talking? laughs> but but she, yeah, she's in the movie for no reason other than at the end they get to have the big concert. That's like yeah, now we have resolved everything. Well, I mean, you know, the... Spike gets to be that MC because that's what he does, and it's haha, it's good time. I, I I did not like it, but I, well, I, I was gonna say I didn't dislike it, but like right. Cheese Sandwich makes a cameo in this it episode in this yeah. movie, and it just made this me remember episode. like how amazing that was the cheap. Uh, uh, right. The cheese sandwich episode, like that's the the, the perfect party, way to do party, one. Party, that is pretty dude, like, I mean, the, the point of the Sia cameo. The, the point of the Sia character is just so that Twilight could have like a thing to talk about at the beginning, obviously. But like, I'm thinking, well, obviously, I, I thought immediately in the beginning yeah. of the movie. Yeah. Well, at the end of the movie, some sort of light show effect is going to happen, and it's going to be well, not underwhelming because I'm expecting it to be completely normal, and that's exactly what happened. The you know uh, <laughs> chip horn girl is like, I'm gonna do fizzle pop berry yeah, twist. Yeah, she does a fucking uh, magic. And I'm like, all right, it's gonna be a firework. It's gonna be totally normal, and everyone is gonna act like it's exceptional. And like, boom, boom, totally normal effect. And I'm like, yep, uh, okay, you guys did it. You guys had like a couple years to make uh, the movie. You could have like actually made something that was like really surprisingly artistic. But dude, no, nope. dude, they had they had Trixie already. They could yeah, have used the they could have used the fireworks. This franchise <laughs> yeah, has has a, a long storied history of ignoring Trixie's potential and doing making new <laughs> characters instead. That's literally what I said to my boyfriend when we were watching. Hmm. I was like, they, they could have. 
just use Trixie for the fireworks from from the very beginning. Twilight yeah. could have just asked yeah. Trixie to do the fireworks. And Trixie instead is of the whole in the movie. Moon she is. Redun- she, the, the name I, of the game in this movie is redundancy. I, I, right. Redundancy I get, I, and obvious. Name of this I get, franchise I get, is redundancy. Let's I, get, I guess Twilight must have taken uh, Trixie aside and been like, hey, I know, I know this was your, bi- but just <laughs> let 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 Fizzle Pop have this. Like she needs a victory right now. Like just, <laughs> yeah, we, we, that, we, I would, dude, I would kill to have that seed because that would I could see that happening in the show. I could totally see like random background Actually, pony yeah. being asked to step aside for someone else that would totally happen in the show and it would be hilarious hey, speaking speaking of scenes that were good uh so uh my you know my favorite part of the episode was the dr wolf reference but other than that uh <laughs> my my actual favorite like bit in this in this movie was like so there was when, when twilight fucks everything up like the one who like leads the charge like T- telling her off and that she is fucked up is Pinkie Pie. And like, I really felt like Pinkie Pie actually filled sort of a leadership role yeah. in that position, as well as when they decide to go save Twilight. Because like, she Pinkie was the main the one instrument who gathers of all the that's, truth. That's because that Pinkie's. Scene. That's because Pinky is the only written character in the movie. Yes, and it would entirely felt, true. It would have felt very strange if uh, Applejack, who makes more sense to be in that position, suddenly yeah, had yeah. something to do when she hasn't right. done anything. Again, when I when you start up the movie, right, you have right. this giant box of conceits and a giant package of library. You got to accept all of them. One of them was they're all going to all six of them are going to be there the whole time, and mostly it's not going to matter. You know, that's just what it's for. Well, that's that's the same thing that happens with with all these it, adventure arcs. Yeah, that's always my big bad. problem. It's here's the Twilight a, show a and her amazing honestly, friends. Honestly, though, I think Guys, that there. Was I, space in this movie to give them all mm-hmm. something to it's do? A, get, but they of gave a bunch of fucking retarded sidekicks, and no and one cares about. Out. I nice. think they gave an exceptional amount of time to Pinkie Pie because she is the most popular character with little girls, yeah, and, yeah. and she's pink, and that's what Hasbro wants. Is the Guys, pink one. do you think? Do you think that in this situation of it being a movie, they could have? Uh, permanently killed Fluttershy and Applejack if they weren't going to use them. <laughs> <laughs> like I was they disappointed get, they didn't. They, 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 the get, they get caught in the crossfire when uh, wait, whoa, whoa, when uh, Storm King's falling. I, I've Amazing. got it. They they do some sort of weird fusion. Applejack and Rainbow Dash become one character, and Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy also become one character. Yeah, and the voice actors just only have to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever noticed how Rainbow Dash should have the element of honesty and Applejack should have the element of honesty? <laughs> 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 It's blowing my mind. Hard it's hard now, dude. The elements are gone. <laughs> yeah, elements are irrelevant. They are gone. Uh, <laughs> I just remember. Uh, did, did anyone else find it slightly amusing when when Rainbow da- when uh, Rarity's like, "Oh, you, I wasn't raised in a barn." She's like, "Sorry, Applejack." Oh, She's like, was I wasn't great. raised in a barn. And then like, that "Oh wait, was, oh, I kind of fucking wait, was." I laughed shit. at that joke. That joke was shit. Really I guess funny. Okay, I guess there were two jokes that, that I had. There like. were good jokes in the movie. Right. Goddamn every, no, every, every you just forgot because movie. everything after the first fifteen minutes. No, sucked no, totally. Dick. Those are the only two good ones. Every joke. There was one joke that I found funny that no one mentioned. It was like it really surprised me that one moment where I was like, so like. Uh, during the fight, Pinkie Pie uh, mm-hmm. g- gave like a present to one of the goons, like surprise, and then like he opens yeah. the the box and she pops out, double surprise. <laughs> That wasn't the, terrible. I was. I, uh, I didn't see okay, that. But like, I, I found it amusing. But then, like, it's immediately ruined by the whole Pinkie Pie throwing like infinite cupcakes yeah. with that stupid yeah. face oh, on right. her face. Uh, that was fine. I, I, don't I know. you know, I, I liked when she threw the first cupcake and they made it look like a blood splatter on the wall behind him. Yeah, yeah, it I was did. Really like that yeah. Too. Oh. See, when, when, there, when like there the wind things in this movie, I when like the are. wind is whipping by and like oh, the, yeah. the goons are getting hit with with pies, it looks like they're being like ripped apart by by shrapnel. The first thing I thought. I was like, "Whoa, holy shit!" <laughs> that's cool. Fucking evi- oh, no. and that's a very MLP thing to do. To like, like sure. they've done shit like that. They always replicate like a like a serious movie, but in a goofy, fun, kitty way. I have a very important question for everybody. Um, was this better than Equestria Girls? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, unequivocally. Uh... I don't know. I think it was How better is this than even the first a debate, one, guys, question. Question. Just, but not just, better just, than Rainbow Rock. Just think back. Just think back to that moment at the end with the whole, like, battle against demons, uh, you know, what's-her-face, yeah. sunset. Yeah. Like, that was terrible. Yeah. It was Sunstar. terrible. Can I... Yeah, I this mean, is, this is really it, it, bad, too. It was, it, was so. better than a, it was better than a Quest Three Girls 1, but not as good as Rainbow Rock. Because Rainbow Rock is kind of good. Can't they just both be undesirable? Guys, guys, can I just say, okay, so firstly, I quite liked the, the animation, so I think it's a lot better in the mm-hmm. animation mm-hmm. department and well, stuff, yeah. and like I cinematic, agree, yeah. cinematic I mean, stuff and stuff. I mean, Equestria Girls looks like that. Writing, <laughs> writing <laughs> wise, it's equally as bad. It's like the most basic fetch story quest without yeah. any sort of character arcs in it and lots of stupid stuff cr- just crammed in just for the sake of being there. It's such a, mm-hmm. such poor writing. I completely just, agree. 
the, yeah. the, and, the fact that all the other ponies are more, used was really thing. Um, the songs I think fail a lot more than any of the Quest Your Girl songs. As yeah, much as true. I dislike some of them, they're at least earworms. And yeah. I quite enjoyed the villain songs in most uh, Quest Your Girls movies, which, I mean, in this one, not so much. I don't remember it as quite as well as the any other ones. The, like, I'm so definitely not going to... The Equestria right? Girls, Rainbow Rocks songs were not, you know, the, the right type of rock music. And I, I, they, they, there's not enough, you know. I, I never you, saw. Not enough I never saw fucking... the other Equestria Girls movies. Me neither. But based on there's only two, right? I know. There's like four. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, yeah, there's like four. four. There's, could be there's wrong. a bunch of them now. Yeah, they I, yeah. I stop yeah. paying. They make the one third, every the year. The third one's bad. The, the second one's kind of good. The fourth mm. one is like. Well, uh, that's what's relative. The fourth one in the about? camp. The, the world in like a in, con- in, like in, a anyway, concentration camp. In, in, anyway, <laughs> yes. Exactly. I, I remember I remember being the guy who defended Equestria Girls. You um, fool! And yeah. I, I remember yeah, that. I I definitely, pretty yeah. colors, dude. Pretty colors. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so I light definitely show spectacle. regret uh. my position as having <laughs> because is. I'm glad because, that history shows I was right the entire time. Well, that. indeed. Mostly because <laughs> the movie is so insanely ugly that I cannot look at it anymore. And you specifically and I don't know the visuals. Why did it take video? you like five years know. to realize I, that? I don't I know. Something was fuck. I can't even look at the show anymore. Like I, I. I don't like My Little Pony Wait, Friendship is Magic can, can we talk like, about that for a second? Because that's a point that I was struggling uh, going mm-hmm. through the entire time watching this movie and up to this podcast, was that I was trying to think of, like, how do I enjoy this movie now versus how would I have enjoyed this movie if it actually came out, like, yeah. six yeah. months Good after point. they announced it? Because and, this yeah. whole time, I, 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 I always think of back, back to my experience in the fandom, like, from 2012 to, to, to like, 2014 or 15 or whatever, and I'm just like... I never understood why I liked the show to begin with. I could never really quantify well, it in a way that made sense to me. Personally. And when I got out of it, I could never understand. I can't, still can't understand like how I even got so obsessed with it in the first place. Like, mm. like it just well, it feels explained. so weird to think about like how I yeah. even did that so much. I, I don't regret think. it, but I just feel like so like just just I don't get because I've loved shows more than I loved MLP. And and I never got into them to such a degree. I'm glad I did because I never would have met any of you guys. It was, and all it was the, the shit power of the zeitgeist, man. It was the it was the fan. It was how active yeah. and like fervent yeah. the fan base yeah. was. Maybe, I, I I got I into I got into it. I got into it through the Newgrounds game story of the blanks. That was my Dude, first really exposure, cool and it really impressed me. It. Dude, yeah. I know, guys. I know the exact. Day I got an MLP for one specific reason. Nine eleven two thousand. I got I got an MLP. I got an MLP on August tenth two thousand eleven, and I know that for a fact because that's mm-hmm. the day the Know Your Meme on My Little Pony came out. Yes, and that's how and I found out about it. And Munchie was refreshing that page fervently, I, waiting I, for new honestly, memes to drop I got on that page. By my friend who was trying to get me into it, showing me Captain <laughs> Hook the Biker Gorilla Rainbow Dash presents, and with all these. <laughs> Oh, I love I never, Rainbow Dash Presents. And I was like, that is my introduction to MLP. was like the most confusing thing ever. But I was literally sold on <laughs> watching the show simply by virtue of witnessing how much effort would be put into a fan work. I thought, well, yeah. the show must be striking some sort of really deep chord that's, with some pretty hey, deep you know, spectrum going that's on. That's how I feel I exactly. got into the show through TF2 analysis. <laughs> 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 okay, oh, God, so, no, I'm going to myself here's, again. Here's, here's a question then. Do you think that none of us were actually... Do you think we were all just tangentially fans of MLP? MLP and we're all fans no, of the MLP I, fandom. Okay, I will say this. Good question. I, the fandom um, wasn't even there when I started watching no, it. Yeah, my yeah, enjoyment was, okay. my enjoyment I, of MLP was sincere at many points. Yeah, my yeah, no, yeah. I think there I think there's a lot of good stuff about the show and it's it's a matter of I didn't get into it immediately. It took like I, I watched all of season one and thought it was okay. It was season two where and I started, you know, involving myself in the fandom and it was more like finding the good like finding the nuggets of gold was what was exciting about it you know uh. like bringing like like looking deep into it and saying oh wow when you really think about it that's an interesting idea and so like it was the analysis that made me love the show so much yep. but then when you're not trying to find all the great stuff in it and you're just looking at like what it is like I re- realized that I got to a point with the show where I didn't start paying attention until three minutes into the episode, because that's when it starts. Like, a My Little mm-hmm. Pony episode opens with just characters describing what the plot is going to be for minutes on end, mm-hmm. usually. 
Um, I recently tried to go back and watch Apple Buck season because it was my favorite episode. Oh, yeah. And the right, whole right. opening segment is just Big Mac Josh going, you can't possibly get all these apples. And she's like, well, I can try to blow. And I'm like, oh, okay. You, can you like, please, I don't need any of this. Did you, you know? Fuck you, it's I can't so get all dense. these apples. State that it's Apple so Buck dense. season is not that good of an episode. Huh? Can what you, are you saying? Because I mean, you always said that's my favorite episode, but all your videos on it were like, I like it. Eh, eh. And I was like, well, it had the best jokes. Whoa. That's why I liked it so much. It has by far the funniest jokes in the show. Okay, you know, good. Uh, dry I, humor. I, I felt, I felt for a long time, like, like certain lay, members lay it down of this for it, group. Peg. Lay, lay right. it on. <laughs> uh, a few members of this group, to me, really seem to be making a concerted effort beyond what is actually reflective of their, of their, of their heart of heart opinions of the show, and an attempt to distance themselves. And and I, I get that uh, some people might legitimately have been caught in the zeitgeist and really now they don't really care as much. I was probably well, one both? of the most... I will, uh, maybe. I was one of the most strident in my desire to remove myself completely from the pony shit and just not talk about it all, do my own thing, and just never reverence it or whatever. And that was only because I just didn't want to carry the same, like, uh, perception of who I was and, and, like, that fandom into my new shit. I just wanted to start new, and that's yeah. fine. But I am happy to admit, I go back and watch episodes of My Little Pony all the time, especially the, uh, the Diamond Terra episode, is is one of my favorite episodes of really anything funny. ever, and that's <laughs> up against every episode of Gurren Lagann, every episode of Standalone Complex, every fucking episode of Fooly Cooly. It is one of my favorite episodes of anything I've ever seen it, in my life, having seen it preach. recently. It's really yeah, difficult. That's right. well, the thing is, my tastes have changed considerably since that time. Like, mm -hmm. when I went into My Little Pony, I came into it from having been somebody who was, like, literally anti-plot. Like, I okay. thought that Oh, you weren't anti-plot anti anymore, no, though. No, you're giving, you're giving <laughs> that <laughs> anime stop so much anim ammunition right no, now. He, everybody knows this. I've, I've said I this know, a million I times. I was literally... Aesthetic is negative. I did not think... I mean, I still feel that way, but, like, mm -hmm. I literally thought that plot does not matter and is stupid. Like, when I was younger, <laughs> okay, okay. I thought plot is the least huh. interesting thing about a show and should not be paid attention to. All I care about is the characters and watching them interact. All I watched mm -hmm. was, like, cute girl shows and, like, magical girl shit, you know? Like, and that's what MLP was to me, was, like, a perfect representation of what I was interested in. But after MLP, uh, really, at some point during the show, I got interested in plot-driven stuff, um, you know, through, like, Mass Effect and then I got really into sci-fi and cyberpunk. And, like, if you look at what I was watching immediately after MLP, that's, it was all uh, cyberpunk anime. That's interesting and that like, you say Mass Effect got you into plot-driven stuff. Because I, yeah. I, I was way more into the characters than the plot at all. Well, I yeah, the plot, well, that's how it got me in. Well, I don't after, mean... Uh, uh, I after mean, Mass Effect 1, the plot was retarded. Okay, I, uh, sure. Uh, but I, I, what I'm saying is that it got me interested in, like, world building and, like, all these high concept oh, shit. Like, I hated I hated sci-fi and I hated politics before Mass Effect. And now Man. those are, like, my two favorite I genres, still, I still want to do know? a Mass Effect podcast at some so, point. Because so, like, I, I, in, the, in the wake of MLP, the stuff I got interested in is, like... I, I don't know. I have, like, a much more adult taste, I guess, than I did even at the time. Like, You're finally MLP, growing up. MLP was indicative of the tastes I had at the time, and it is not now. And going back to watch it, it's really difficult to get through all the child proofing. All of the, All like, I want to say, I, all I want to say know. is people seem to forget that there are episodes like putting your foot down in My Little hoof Pony. Down. What the fuck is a foot? God, God what damn, the putting, fuck is a foot? <laughs> putting, putting your hoof down. And how many fucking shows, at period, have addressed, like, assertiveness training seminars or like pickup culture or any of that kind of like inc like nobody yeah. even wants to talk or think about that shit like it takes weird ass movies like magnolia to even bring up the idea of that kind of shit and yet my fucking little pony makes an episode about it i will never forget i will never end giving credit to that I, show for I making totally that shit think it deserves, part of an episode. it deserves the yeah. credit I, I, you know, Good. I really, I really like. Uh, there's tons. Of, I, I still like Suda vs. I still think it's fucking fantastic. Yeah, damn right. You know, I still have all my favorites. I just, what I, it's weird because I don't understand really how how I got so obsessed with it because I'd never participated in a fandom at all and never had any desire to. But now that I'm on the outside, all these years removed, I just have damn this right. weird feeling of awkwardness because, e despite the fact that I don't regret participating as much as mm -hmm. I did, like I'm back to where I was before, and like I would never put that much yeah. time and effort into something like that. 
I yeah, okay. I will it's happily it's say that I was a brony, and I will happily say mm-hmm. I, I met all of you people doing My Little Pony. It was yeah, an incredibly we're still great living thing in that the happened after to me. Effects of the friendship. Oh, yeah. absolutely. We're, I, but, it was and we will thing, forever. But, but I will just say that was all things about the fandom that I enjoyed and the sense of community that I felt when I was in the brony fandom. Though embarrassing to say, was pretty great. And there are a lot of things I yeah. like about My Little Pony itself. However, like I don't know. Things change, bro. Things some, change. I mean, yeah, like, like you, you grow change, up in your taste. Sometimes we have change. to hashtag. We have to go back. And that was <laughs> yeah. one of those like times. You, you, you grow up in your taste change, but but also like, I mean, maybe it was always there, and I just wasn't seeing it. But you know, at some point, at some point, the tone shifted, and it became important to me personally to get me, away from it, so as not to be Isaac. lumped in with people like I KP think... and Doctor Wolf. Keg, keg, keg. Yeah, yeah. It I was yeah. important to my per, my personal but, sense of identity that I not be one of them. Like, I, I feel like I feel like this is being like a big big deal like for for us because like the Brony thing was such a big thing. It's it's a show that you know we we liked it at a time and mm. now we don't as as much. There are other shows that and games and things that I have gotten into and then gone out of be liking mm-hmm. and then maybe a years later I'm like oh you know what I I might go and check that out again it's not really any different but the reason I, it's like we're making a big deal out of right. it because it was exactly. a fandom yeah, it's, it's like, it's like this my, really like my little pony is like your first girlfriend yeah uh-huh. you'll date other girls but you don't give a fuck about them you only <laughs> care about the original one you'll no, always I, only care about I her and want her forever for, sure. for me with MLP <laughs> that's how it is the, the thing that makes it weird is just that it was it was the first show I ever had that shout I shout out to my a... girlfriend by the way <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, Michelle. <laughs> yeah. MLP. That love that. At, at, the time, at the time that My Little Pony came out, like I was really grappling with the fact that I didn't have like a favorite show. Like I loved yeah, anime yeah. to death, but I never had like one thing that I was like, this is my favorite. And MLP became that. And I think just I think a lot of my love for the show was just like that I loved the show, therefore I performed that. You know, yeah. like sure, it's sure. it's like that. It's like a Ouroboros. Like you keep doing it because you say you do it, and then that keeps happening. And then once you break yeah. out of that, yeah. then it's like, okay, now that I've lost that, now that I've lost the idea of Digibrony, you know, mm-hmm. right? What is left? You, you know, you, when I'm totally with you on that, I, I just think right. that perhaps I approach this whole thing because, like Ben and I, never ever called ourselves Bronies, and especially yeah. I felt like that was part of what I did. Like I always approached this. I really enjoyed the show, but I never really involved myself with anyone except people who were already cool people, like all of the people here right now like i only associated with those people ben and i never liked at all any of that rift shit any of those other people they were always trash oh, and you yeah. could well, tell well, instantly. except for ben who loved it it was in tf2 analysis anarchy he yeah sure was. yeah the my biggest proudest, fan in the world. my proudest moment <laughs> yeah did you like yeah. the hey, height of my I, career I, I, so, i've i figured out i figured out uh-huh. what why i like my little opponent i figured it okay. out and you guys are gonna feel real fucking old because i was okay. thinking about it and the reason mm. i liked my little pony Think about it. It came on August tenth, two thousand and eleven. I was born. I was. Uh, well, no, no. I'm, I'm saying I got. I got into it on August tenth, two thousand eleven. You I was were literally born. ten. <laughs> I was literally ten. Is what I gotta say. I was literally Whoa. ten years old when I yeah. found my was actually a child. I was uh, yeah. like what, like twenty twenty two when I got into it. You had to be older Damn. than that, Ben. You're like ninety. Uh, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've aged like seventy I, I years in the whole process of the brownie thing. <laughs> Le- leaving the leaving the brony fandom really takes a toll so, on your on your soul. So I mean, thinking I mean, back, that's Asian. probably why I liked it because I was a baby. <laughs> yeah. so, no, the rest of us have no excuse. Right. We have no yeah. excuse, basically. I see. I see. I mean, you get you get involved in, you get involved heavily enough in something like that, and it uh, becomes can, a part of who you are. Yeah, and, and, and I know exactly giving it up. Why I liked it. It's mm-hmm. the art style. It's very simple and cute and pastel colored. It's it's all the things I like. Yeah, but you're a girl, so you're I, allowed yeah, to I feel f- that way. <laughs> I <laughs> fell in love with the. I really fell in love with the show. Uh, uh, when winter when the winter wrap up song played because I fucking love musicals and I will watch any show that has music in it. God, I just want to be a musical Good man song. forever. Yeah. it's uh, yeah, no, it's I mean, a great look, song. Man, and you it feel just the show. The thing that makes it unique yeah. is that it is the the cheap chintzy five year old girl show, but done competently. Sometimes it's shit. Sometimes it's great. Mm-hmm. So it, it kind of 
of sine waves right around in the pretty good zone. And I believe I'm looking around when it comes to like Western shows about with some poppy animation for girls. It's still probably the best one. And that has a unique position. And if you're going through yeah. a certain dark part of your life, having something like that can be just the right thing to pick you up and make you happy. And it's more of a time and, and place thing. And slap you it's down. More, just like, I'm going to slap it's you guys a, down. I mean, for me, it was definitely a like watching it every day, discovering it as a new thing and seeing all the world building and just experiencing it for the first time. It's a great experience. And, uh, yeah, and it was a great way to inspire lots of people to, to make the fandom. Like, people yeah. say, oh, people just stuck it in food yeah, for the fandom. Well, the fandom became the kind of fandom that it was because of what the show inspired in them. And that just dragged I feel, it out. Agreed. I feel like that just dragged it out all, too long, yeah. everyone, everyone of us here who was inspired to create art, uh, like, through the My Little Pony analysis community or, or whatever it was, uh, like, I feel like we all had that within us. Like, of course. Like, th that, that ability was inside all of us to go do that kind of thing. But I am just so grateful for the show to being Absolutely. the vehicle that helped me develop it. Yeah. I have yeah. such such gratitude. I definitely have for it. No, I I have nothing but respect for the show and I will defend it because I don't want to look like yeah, a course. fucking idiot for having like <laughs> <laughs> I really, really thought you were going somewhere else with that. Yeah, me you? too. Uh, uh, that's a much better yeah, response. No. I, I, by I the way, how long is this going to go? Because I accidentally double booked this with a podcast with that anime snob. You're going to ditch us for that no, this anime great. snob? This is Jesus fucking Christ. Wow. <laughs> what the I, fuck I, is I, that? I don't is that? How fucking telling is that? The Digibrony is betraying us for fucking anime snob. No, I accidentally double booked our podcast. <laughs> it's not, it's not Bring just with him. him. It's Bring it's a uh, it's with no. um, pause and select uh -huh. and all that. I, right. That can uh, wait. I feel, I, I'll I make feel them well. wait. I, wait, what? We're, yeah, we're going. Feel, <laughs> we're going a while. I longer. feel similarly about like um, the show giving me the the confidence to to make stuff because I I'd always wanted to make gaming videos, but I feel like if I had just like if I hadn't been part of the pony community and met anybody yeah. doing reviews and and had a chance to test you know my abilities. Mm -hmm. I probably would have ended up as like like I don't know a Kadikaris or someone uh, worse than yeah. him, like mm -hmm. someone just okay. Oh no, not like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Oh yeah. Well, okay. I think I honestly think <laughs> no, no, like... not the subscriber can. I think I would just not be as where I am yeah. if I didn't have no, the I community think this group was very much around the show. in the fires of the Brony like fanaticism. Like there was this in the Brony mm -hmm. sphere. Think of it like a fucking tea tree, and there was one specific chemical that all of us had that like attracted us together, and then we forged our bond in that realm. And like we had this like ideological synchronization that we're still riding on this time. But yeah, I wasn't doing analysis videos at the time, but I was following all of you mm -hmm. pretty closely, or at least some of you pretty closely. Right, right. And like, I never, I never would have done anything YouTube related if I hadn't gotten dragged into this shitstorm. So I'm, I'm grateful that like I was able to expand as a creator, do more mm -hmm. things, I and I definitely gained more confidence, more skills, and I have a ton of things that I've done and can do now that I never would have been able to otherwise. So that I was am, all pretty. I am fun. extremely same here. I'm extremely grateful to the Brony community for uh, allowing me to take advantage of them to launch my career. Um, yep. I would not, it was a very small pond that I was able to be a big fish in by being smarter than everybody else involved with it. <laughs> yep. and tougher than take, the toughies and smarter than I, the smarties. You know, that's, the, that's, when I, that's when, the Brony way. When I made my first Brony video, I told my friend Ghost Lightning, I can probably gain enough subscribers from this that once I switch to doing games analysis, I'll have an audience. And uh, that worked. <laughs> it just mm -hmm. took longer than I thought. And yeah. it was great, because yeah. imagine if that hadn't happened, then that would mean that now, sitting pretty today in 2017, you'd have to look at the first year and a half of your career making like video game and, and anime videos. And it's like, you'd uh -huh. know that a lot of people would get curious and watch them, and you'd be like, oh, don't. But thankfully, since yeah, they're all no. pony, no one's going to go see them, so you don't have to deal with yeah, people no seeing one, them. Yeah, no <laughs> one ever goes back to my, my like, like the earliest videos that anybody will watch from me are already pretty good, because I cut my teeth mm -hmm. on this other bullshit that nobody wants to be involved with unless well, they already were. Well, uh, you, you, you know? can downplay your personal investment in this all you want, did you? No, but no, no, we all I'm know not, the I'm truth. Not we all know anything. the real I'm shit. I'm just saying that my fans will uh -huh. not go watch those videos, and yeah, those okay, videos okay. are much worse than what I do now because I sure. cut my teeth on them. Like, I learned how to make videos by doing pony analysis. When I watch, Same. sometimes I go back and watch those, it's really fucking hard to watch them. I, I, have point out, I think it's so funny much. that Digi Brony is, is using a, a teeth analogy. I, I know, I was that thinking that about that. Amusing. I <laughs> I'm thankful for the Brony community because BronyCon, what was it, 2015? I think. Yeah, I think so. The, 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 no. the, 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 the second year we were all there together. Yes, 2015. It was probably the right. best convention of my entire life. And yep. I'm so yeah. glad uh, I met all of you. Too. And I'm really happy. Oh, shit, I'm, I'm really yeah, happy. That was, I agree. I literally agree. <laughs>
Uh, I, one um, of my favorite yeah. moment in this movie is the first time Celestia was on screen, and I said to my girlfriend, that's the voice actress I almost punched <laughs> in the face. It's my birthday, bitch. Bitch. Yeah. Well, by the way, Hippo, I, I, oh, sorry, Gib, but I just want to say, uh, and I, like, I need you to apologize for like, my little point right now. You're a brick, and I don't want to have to place you down. I don't want to have to place you down, Hippo. Please just I will apologize never, for liking My Little Pony. Apologize. And, 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 and I'll leave you alone. I but, love but, My but Little then, Pony. And I'm gonna, more I'm gonna have to, to push you down. I'm gonna have to push <laughs> yeah. you down. I'm gonna have to push you down. That's, that's just how it's gonna be. I'm, On hey, with location helium, right bro. now. Ten, fifteen minutes. I'm rising. Ten to fifteen Diamond. minutes. Why push was Diamond down. Tiara in this movie more? She should have been the main character of this movie. Yeah. If she we, was the main quit, character, then I, I would leave. be Wait, Well, I just, I just want to say that we've had, we've had a real, a real helpful discussion, a real nuanced discussion about the pros and cons and the thing we like and dislike and what it all meant to us. But I would like to just throw all that right out the window because <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I've had a couple too many Diet Code Red Mountain Dews and i got to take a piss. And I'm gonna yeah. fucking do it. I, I'm gonna I, fucking I, I, take I, I a piss on this movie. Oh, God, this live on I'm gonna take a piss on the bronies, and I'm I, gonna I, take a piss on everyone in the world. All are we on not all gonna Earth do questions? Can, can I first at least say what uh, I'm? Well, why why, why she literally has to them. leave right now because that's why we scheduled this earlier, <laughs> true. so that he okay. could leave. Also, I have double booked a podcast, and this is well. I guess that's the way the wind is blowing. No, no, you don't understand. I'm peeing right now. Oh, 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 Ben, do you oh, want to pee with me? Do you want yes. to be my best friend? Oh, do you no. want to be strawberry milk, do strawberry milk and phantom horn. Oh, it's uh, Nate, if you want, strawberry yeah, milk and phantom horn, we're doing it. We're pissing on the MLP us, uh, movie. Yeah, yeah, well, these fuckers' calculators will rain for a thousand years. I already passed the question, so I will. Me and I hear it. I hear it. This is the best ASMR. Yeah, this should have been the ASMR cast. Oh, well, here we go. Mage, do you want to make your point? Yes, the stream, the power of the stream. I want to what I'm... The power! I love power! Oh, too much, it's overflowing! I get a new bottle, I get a new bottle, I'm holding it in. Munchy, shut up! Munchy, please at least stop talking. Fuck this movie, fuck me. Fuck unicorn. Fuck alicorn. I fuck everything that ever was or ever will be. In this holy land of Equestria. You're all pee. You're all okay, pee now. All right. Yeah. Understood. Uh, uh, Mage, go ahead. Oh god. You're so gross. I know. I, I know. I... They're disgusting. <laughs> well, no, now I can't. I don't want to be honest and stuff like that. Now that they're peeing. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, uh, we totally understand. Ah. Uh, you ruined the mood. Thanks. So liberating. Uh, yeah. Oh, god. I feel like we don't even need to do it's, questions. It's, 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 Fine. Jesus Christ. You guys can uh, do questions after me and once you leave. It's fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Bye. Yeah, bye, guys. Get the, get the bye. Bye. fuck out. Right You're leaving. You're, uh, all right. We're, 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 we're get, we'll do a handful. I don't fucking know. Uh, get, mm. Yep. Yeah. I was yeah, just this... wondering who's leaving and why. Uh, I mean, Munchie's leaving because uh, no he has to go on a trip immediately. Like that's why yes. we had to do this okay. at two. Oh, yeah, that's Munchie right. Okay, good. Uh, understood. Go, go to it. Uh, people have to leave. Right. Goodbye. Munchie, get the they, fuck they, out of the God, car. God, get out. God, 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 God feed. God strawberry no. milk. Okay, uh, he's gone. He just peed after he left. <laughs> yeah. He was only peeing. I want. I wanted him here. Um, I do you want to make your point? The mood is ruined, though. Lol. Okay, tell you what, we'll come back to that after some questions. Maybe yeah. you'll feel. I want to answer at least one it. question before we all fucking before I take off to go talk to Snob or whatever. Yes. Okay. So whoever's in charge? Oh wait, Munchie was actually the one while looking at the Discord. If somebody else wants to pull that up, I'm, I got the Twitter oh, here. I'll take a look at it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, 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 what do we got here? Okay, here at uh, no, that's shit. That's terrible. Uh, I don't know. At <laughs> draw fill draw asks, will there ever be a hashtag DadCon? I guess we're our dads go to a convention. Yeah. I would assume <laughs> well, once, we'll, we'll, we... we'll have that con once Munchie steals all the dads. Then yeah, we'll have dad con. yeah. We'll put, it, we'll put them all. We'll put I'll... them all in a bunker together. Yeah, that's good. So many I'll send my questions. dad along in a in a package. I would like that. I would like that. Uh, have we ever answered? Do you plan on having children? I don't know. I don't uh, think so. It, it I think we might up. have on some up. sort of a podcast. I think on like like a really earlier podcast. I definitely intend on having children. I know. No, we have answered this because Nate gave know, us this whole yeah. rundown of like what his kids are gonna be. That's and, right. Uh, I did. Yeah. One. Uh, yeah. Vincent and Charlotte. Yep. That's right. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I I will never have children. I think it's retarded. So no, well. I'm way too selfish. Um, I would yeah, I would sacrifice my is. children at the first possible We've opportunity to advance myself. This. I've heard yeah. you talk about I, that too, I, Tom. I uh, I don't know what a child is, but I <laughs> plan to have fillies. Yeah, I do. yeah, God, that's good. That's good. Because I'm still. A yeah, that's that's uh, give and Nate, take. Give us when will you get question. your I, I'm I'm not finding any I want to read out. 
Um, yeah. I'll just else quickly to... answer the question while you're finding the thing. Sure, go for I it. I don't. I don't particularly want any at this current time. Maybe in the future, but highly, I doubt it very highly. Don't like children. So I, yeah, I agree. That's how Mage. I feel. Yeah. yeah. Well. In the in the Patreon chat, Crafty <laughs> asks, "How long do you take to pee?" And we just answered that live. So yeah, there we go. Oh, you've got oh, you've got that on right. A- as too can, long. <laughs> as can asks, "Biggest letdown you've ever experienced?" The My Little Pony movie. Yeah. Oh, oh guys, 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 guys. When I said I don't like children, my cat mewled and came up to me, and I was snuggling me. Yes, he is my child. I like you. I yes, too. yes, they're good. Uh, they're, they're, the we, can, we can control them and ban them to our will. Here, here's I love a, pets. Here's an actually great question. Uh, okay. El Gringo Bandito asks, what's your favorite <laughs> sword? That's a My good question. Um, sword. Oh. I like I like a good bastard sword. A good like like big hilt bastard sword. I just you swing like it around. bastard because then I could say it in class and the yeah. teacher would be like, yeah, I can say a bastard. Pokey well. sword. I really don't know anything about swords, so like uh, the one that does its job. You're well. Not even the katana. No, that, like, that's like the weakest one. Folded a thousand times. Yeah. Um, exactly. katanas are. Pretty pretty cool though. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, weak and a, like a cool weak. Weak. Cool. and like they that's cut why the you have weak Western steel. No. Are you kidding me? They're my, the my, strongest. My favorite sword yeah. is a specific answer. I like uh, Stormbringer. It's a sword from the Eternal Champion Saga, the Elric mm. Saga. It's pretty cool. It's a it's a sword all made of black. It's got red runes etched into it, and the with the sword it works. It if you get cut by it, it steals your soul, and it's fucking awesome. That's dope. I was gonna say I, I had a specific storm, one. The Storm King could have used that. Maybe Exa- that's. <laughs> yeah, I, it was funny. Right. I, I was think I was trying to remember the Storm King's name, and all I could think of was Stormbringer. I'm like, it's not Stormbringer. He's not ah. that cool. Fuck that shit. <laughs> uh, I, I it's, it's simple, but uh, I've always really loved the Buster Sword. What can I say? The Buster Sword is dope. Yeah. Big uh, fan. Yeah, I think when I was younger, I liked the more ornately oh. designed swords, but now I like big, simple. I really yeah. like a uh, Sonosuke Sagara sword from Rurouni Kenshin, the one that's that he just... uses one time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before, <laughs> yeah. Before he does fisty Fair. cuffs. Um, yeah. Oh. And uh, also th- it, the Zweihander from Dark Souls, because that's my my main. Yeah, it's sure. it's sure. kind I, of like I a think, bastard well, sword. It's but not even from bigger. Dark Souls. It's from real life. Yeah. That's a real sword. Well, I, think I maybe like my... it because of Dark Souls. I think maybe my favorite sword is one of those. Zolo swords, uh, like the Zolo. I think the, you call them Zolo. Oh, you know, I grew up calling him Zolo. <laughs> I know, I know, I do. Uh, uh, he's one of Zoro's swords. He's got them. Um, which one? Which one? Uh, it's. I think I, I really like the blue one. Like it's not even his best one. That's the cursed like, one, right? No, no. It's one he gets later as like a replacement for one that breaks. Oh, is that someone from gives the, it? Some townsperson gives it to him because it's like the best one they got lying around. Uh, oh, that's like really early with a black she- yeah. uh, sheath. But uh, well, the curse, the curse one with like the weird like wavy pattern in the in the in the the, the cut of it or whatever is really cool too. I yeah. really fucking love uh, Zoro's. And, sword. and tragically, that one you're talking about right now is destroyed by a man with rust powers and gets replaced. Uh, oh. You know later on. Wait, the the blue one does. That's right. The, the, he keeps oh yeah, the yeah, yeah. One. That's he keeps right. The one. That's yep. right. Tragic. But I liked it's it. I liked tragic. it because it was it wasn't like some Mary Sue sword. It wasn't like it wasn't like the best sword ever. It was just like an excellent sword that he got that someone gave to him because they felt he deserved it. And yeah. it fucking it fucking died. Uh, a tra- it suffered a tragic end. Zero but it looked really have cool. Great backstories. They really do. They really yeah. do. Especially because the one he gets later to replace it is actually a sword used by this guy who was in one of Oda's previous works about a fucking dragon slaying samurai oh, guy. Oh, yeah, that's it's right. the dopest that's right. thing ever. All right, yeah. uh, none of the okay, other questions enough. are interesting to me, so I'm going to take off. You guys can keep answering them if you want. Okay, peace, All dog. Right. Uh, I don't even know if there's any good ones left. Um, Bye, Digibrony. One... Okay, go on. Get out, Digibrony, you faggot. Tell us about um, it. Tell us a tall tale, why don't you? <laughs> I got a question <laughs> from the, the, the PCP chat that could be interesting. Uh, mm. Enz asks, if the PCP were to form a band of any genre, what would the roles for each member be, and what would the first album be called? Well, the album would, be... would def- the album would definitely be gay and dead. <laughs> that's Absolutely. true. Absolutely. Gay and Dead 2, Electric Boogaloo. I would Boogaloo. be Guitar Boy. I want to be... what I do. Be the, okay, I want to be the designated band Scat Man. That's, that would be what I would do. Uh, I don't know. I thought yeah, I was going out too. Uh, bye. Uh, Sorry, okay, this, uh, well, I, I, I'm, yeah. not, I'm we, not down we, we for this trickling away. We would instantly kick away. Davu out of the band, obviously. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> yeah. answer this and then we'll... Uh, musical finish. difference. Okay, yeah, let's call it. All right, we're done, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, this has been Keg Standard, and this has been Two Best Brothers Bitch About Ponies. Uh, subscribe to our channel. It's yeah, the greatest. Yeah, Sam uh, Warren. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Uh, fuck.
<laughs> uh, oh, and uh, make sure so you send us more questions. Ash, hashtag AskPCP on Twitter. Or join our goddamn Patreon, because we got bonus episodes. And you can, uh, as with $1, you get access to the Discord, where we just read a bunch of questions that are, frankly, more likely to be read. So you increase your odds by being there. And there's a great community there. Those people are dope. They're the best fans of the PCP. Uh, they're all fantastic. And, uh, and, uh, and if, don't... Yeah, I've mm-hmm. got a... What? I got a thing to plug. Sure. Um, if if you want to see really awkward first interaction conversations with all of us, uh, search for the horse cast because yes. that's what this piece. Oh was yeah, before. Ooh, that's the, the OG. I was never on the horse cast though. You fuckers, you never <laughs> that's true. back in the day. That's true. So, uh, fuck all of these guys. They're gay. I think um, by that time we had made the PCP chats or something. I, I don't know. That was way before that. It was a long time ago. Also, um, yeah, you're right. The, 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 the Procrastinators podcast is on iTunes and on Google Play. Uh, just to right. co- alleviate some confusion, because I've gotten some questions about this, even mm-hmm. though it's technically on Google Play, you have to go to the Google Play Music app on your phone, not the Google Play Store. It's really oh. retarded. I don't know why it's that way. But you go to the Google Play Music app. And then you Good go to the podcast app. section if you want to listen to it on your Android phone. Fantastic. Or if you just go to the podcast app on your iPhone. Thanks. Thanks, Steve Jobs. Yeah. What, a, <laughs> what a great guy. He really dicked us on this one. <laughs> well, he's and dead now, so we got to go back to that. The end. Uh, we've got some merch as well. There's some links below. Yeah, buy that shit. I don't know. Whatever the fuck you want to do, fam. <laughs> I guess uh, and that's it. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, uh, let, let's put your, put your hooves together and say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, pony. My little pony. My little pony. pony. Uh, uh, my uh, little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, we're, we're... My little pony. I used to watch the show, but now I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to.